I am a paladin. Oh. Hello. Oh, can do. Nice place to. Hello. Oh. Okay. I like going the girl bubble. Thank you for the follow. Speaking of follow, Sika, did you see him? We're three off your goal on Instagram. Well, last I checked. I know it's been bouncing around a bit lately because I've been um I've been blocking spam bots. <laughs> so they're being forced to unfollow me, but that's fine. Um what are we doing? We're doing we're doing a battle. Yes, I did, yeah. <laughs> Well, if you don't see him, although chances are the vast majority, vast majority, not all, the majority of people who are like here right now, people who know who I am <laughs> and who are already following on the thing. Um, all right, so I'm placing a barbarian. Good. Hi. What do we think? What do we think? Let's have a ooh, let's have a catch up on chat, shall we? Well done to Seeker on first, Zam with the attempt. Sheba with second, Zam with third, get dunked on her. <laughs> Mike with last. Zam with a 1v1. Oh dear, well done, Seiko. Yori with last. Oh no, cool down. Yori not with last. Rigged, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Seiko. Oh no, oh no. Uh, 69th for Lander, welcome on in. Was just exist then, only last is worth it. There is, an, there is also here, as in like A L S O H E R E. But there's also like all the typo ones and stuff as well. But I mean, hey, if last is if last is the only one that's worth it, that's that's fine. That's fine. Was the most yas. Um, it's gonna ban how do you squish my emoji? You can never defeat me. So it will be the music for the rest of us. Correct, meaty. I'm I'm I agree with meaty. <laughs> Sam is boosting the mods. Oh no, oh no. Oh, there's a free for all. I think I've missed it by now, but that's okay. Ah, oh dear. Guess no man farming then? Nope. 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 Level, 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 level. You are welcome to mount farm, though. Take all the luck while I'm not using it. Ma. Ah, dear. Ah, dear. Hello, Sheba. Good time zone to you, Fade. Hello, Sam. Yas, follow Fear on the Instas. We're so close. Three follows away from 11.11. What the hell? What the hell? I don't even know. Following, brilliant. Wonderful. 
Ah, oh, look at the raid. Weird. Ah, oh, Cash! Cash won the free for all. Well done. Well done. Ruby Panther, no. Sinful Gravewing, no. Good morning, Sen. Welcome back. Sam's coin, fantastic, Yuri. Hello, Yellow. Welcome on in. Hope you're doing well today. Especially in the graphics. Ah! <laughs> yes, this is the. It's, I'm not going to press the button because it'll start the battle, but it is Stream Raiders. Not, is not Shadow Land. It's a little side thing that we switch to every half hour or so. It's kind of cute and fun. Like, if you want to join in, it's completely free to play. Uh, it's browser based, so you don't have to download anything. It's, it's a lot of fun. But I hope you have a fantastic time with us today. Oh no, Secret was a joke about Stream Raiders. <laughs> the only reason I, f I figured that it was is because I get that a lot. Um, anytime someone joins us during a battle, rather than like when I'm in, in WoW, and we go, this doesn't look like WoW, it's like, yes, well, that's because it's not. <laughs> mm, hello, Lano. Mm, I was in the house, yas. It's like the air for it now. Mm. It hasn't been raining here, but it's still freezing. With a high cliff jumper, no. With thunderstorm, oh no. Oh, Yuri, I'm glad you're home safe. It's been a while. It has been, but that's okay. No harm in that. Big old deck. <laughs> totally fine. I'm going to still be trying to figure out the colors. Well, the colors are red, but like dark red, like bloody kind of red. Dark gray. Little teeny tiny pop of yellow. Surprising exactly nobody. I own this mount. It's a ground mount. Have fun! And I'm gonna have fun doing some leveling. Okay, was running around. Oh no! Yep, that's where Seeker's from too. Hey, Lycan. Welcome back, doing well. Hope you can say the same. Oh no, should we get it in three guesses excluding their first? She has had a has she not had a couple guesses already? With a hide cliff stop. Oh only one, okay. Walk on Juggernaut. No! Good morning to you, Duran. Welcome back. Still debating on class, but I'm well. I mean, worst case, you need to get yourself a 12D. Crimson, Primal Dire Horn. Nope. Oh, sorry, 12 sided dice. I've got one somewhere in my drawers here. Um, but you can also do like slash roll like 1 to 12 and it'll do the same thing in game for you. The thing is you got to pick which numbers are which classes beforehand otherwise it doesn't help you at all. I have 30. Oh, well, there you go then. Got 30 to choose from. Use Google's RNG. Yeah, that works too. That works too. They're only two away from level 9. Ah, yellow! I presume you have done a follow. Thank you. I hope you enjoy the content. What have you got to say? I hope you enjoy the content. I'm kind of panicking because the end of August has snuck up on me like a like a sneaky sneaky, and I don't like it. Because I'm like, crap, September. Oh no. So I started working on that today. <laughs> I'm just oh, working my ass off all the time, all the time. Empty tabletops. Brilliant! Then you've got plenty of dice to choose from. I'm curious then what, what how, like, I mean, maybe it was just like a, a lack of context for the 12D comment. Although usually it comes the other way around, right? Do like D12, like 2D12 or, or like 3D6 or something like that. Yeah, fair. It's been a while. I, I do not do tabletop. Um, just not my cup of tea, but that's fine. Love watching people get into it. You got to say? Gotcha. Yay! Awesome. Frantically flipping through the mounts. Have fun, Shiba. Well, you're like, you're one guess down out of the three 
that it was prophesized you would guess in. Red Karaji Battle Tank! Nah. <laughs> Meet Evidence Fan. Yeah, look. Look. Half of the people in this chat are too fucking young to know what that is. So <laughs> Why are you reading at me, Shibs? I'm not, I'm not like changing the game on you. Like I have a tab open that tells me what the mount is. I'm not changing my mind. You're just not getting it right. You would make quite the no, my fault. Vessel. Turbo Strider, no. Oh, excuse me, I'm 33, I'm not, God, I'm old. I'm, tw I'm 32 and a half. I'm not far behind you. <laughs> We are we are mostly old. Like every everyone in this chat is either old as sin or like a baby. There is no in between. Like, <laughs> and we all feel really old and behave super young, so it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. What are you saying it, you trickster? I mean, yeah, but like, if I just if I just like front up told you, Sheebs, you wouldn't have as much fun. Let's be honest. Like, this is this is a game, and it's fun for both of us. Again, right there with the E. Yep. Swift Red Hawk Strider. <laughs> What's your number? <laughs> well done! You got it. Three guesses exactly. Well, excluding your first, but that was the prophecy. That was the prophecy. <laughs> Oh, I love this game. It's so much fun. So much fun. Um, 30 year old stand up without knee pain. Yeah, no, I can't do that. Um, I, like, <laughs> for realsies though, I actually have arthritis. So it's, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, only affects one of my knees though, thankfully. Um, and it's medicated. So it's, uh, I'm, I'm managing the symptoms. It's just a, it just sucks, especially when the meditation comes in a bloody needle, because I fucking hate needles. Um, just in 17C, Babby. Of course, I don't mean that as an offense, like, no, no offense or anything like that. Um, the ship is an old Babby. So we're older than 33, two and a half months away from putting a four in front of my age, you kids. I just, every so often, I think about how old I am, and... I I wouldn't say panic because I've had I've had like I have had panic attacks in the past and it so it's not quite like that but it is it's a bit of a mental spiral so I just kind of don't really think about it anymore. Birthday's exciting and great, but who cares what number it is? I I have as as I am in my life right now I have never been happier. Um I have never been more successful by my definition of success and um I've never felt like n never before have I felt like I was in the right place doing the right thing surrounded by the right people and if it took me 32 and a half years to get to that point then so goddamn fucking be it because I'm here now and I'm owning it and I'm it's mine piss off <laughs> it's yeah Sometimes age is just how long it took you to find what you needed. That's all. <laughs> sort of. I said three. <laughs> At least one of us is over 50. Bloody sheaves. I am an oracle. You are. You are. <laughs> you are. Right. 99, says sheaves. The new game is how long will it take sheaves to guess? <laughs> yeah. That would kind of be hilarious. I, I would not, I would not, um, I would, I would not, uh, I would not say no to that. All right. Here you go. Bam, enjoy. Congratulations. <laughs> um, <laughs> crown remains. So do I have osteoarthritis? My back, oh no, bone spur in my neck. Oh Jesus. That sounds like so much fun. 
God, I am I am sorry to hear that. I hope that I hope that your uh, team of medical professionals uh, are treating you with with kindness and seriosity. Um, looks like Paladin. This is oh yours. You want to play Paladin? Perfect. I was about to say uh, this is this is a DK, but I mean it might look like a little bit like a dead Paladin, but no. Brilliant. Enjoy, like enjoy. Um, every so often, every time I get out of bed and creak. Well, no, I, look, I know, this is the thing, right? A lot of the time when, when I have like an ache or, or a, like pain somewhere or something, twinges or something doesn't feel right physically, it really does, like, I kind of think to myself, is the, like, have I hurt myself? Have I done something? Because I'm not, like, I'm not, I wouldn't necessarily call myself clumsy, but occasionally I do some pretty stupid stuff with my body. We all do, you know, bashing our feet and knees and, and stuff on things and whatnot. Um, and so whenever whenever I find a, a pain or a, a crack or a creak or something like that, I, my mind kind of plays the, is this clumsiness? Is this autoimmune condition? Or is this age? <laughs> like, I cannot tell which of the three it is. And so I feel like, as long as I do my best to take care of my body as much as I can, the rest of it's in the hands of science. Like there's nothing else I can do except the best I can do. And and I'm not gonna cut out all the, you know, quote unquote unhealthy food and all that, because a lot of it tastes damn good, hence bag of candy. Um, <laughs> you gotta, like, we, we get one life as, as far as, you know, a lot of belief systems go. You gotta live it. You gotta live it. And this world is full of so many delicious, amazing things and stuff that is absolutely not ideal for our bodies to be put through. But as long as we take care of them before and afterwards, I don't see the harm. So, look. I'm playing video games on the internet as a job. This didn't exist in my early 20s. And goddamn, am I glad I'm doing this on the internet where everything lasts forever when I wasn't at the point of my life where I just open my mouth and say stupid shit because my filter hadn't developed yet. <laughs> like, good God, I'm, I'm thankful for where I am and when I'm here. <laughs> oh, man, I'm guessing game is going to age me 50 years. Well, look, you're still not going to be as old as half of us, Archie, so you're fine. <laughs> Wholesome as fuck. Look, I try to be. I try to be. Bright green hair at the front. Rest is covered in purple spots. I play well every day when I get home from school. How old am I? Yeah, good question. How, good question. I, I literally have managed to make my job playing video games. Like, look. 16-year-old Fia wishes she was me. Holy shit, that's half my age. Fuck. Okay, we're good. <laughs> we're good. See, moment to every so often, I have the moment of realization and my brain explodes. But then very quickly, I put it back together and get on with it. It's... <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I hate this types of mounts. You get to run the clunky sky. I don't want to. Fine. Uh... My mission table check and mount get a hey, reckon my warrior get to 60 tonight. Fantastic, Yuri. Oh, awesome. Well done. Just deleted 45 mounts. Oh dear. Yeah, I, I've been deleting them as I get them because it just it feels like such a job when you try to do them all at once. There is an add-on though that will like also welcome back, Jack. I hope you're doing wonderfully well. Um there is an add-on that lets you um skip the confirmation. Back when I realized I had three or four tunes that had a ton of Halloween ones in their bags and going like, click, delete, delete, click, delete, delete, click, delete, delete. It just, no, nope. So I, I went and got that add-on. So I eliminated a click each time. And when I had literally a whole bag, like full of it, yeah, it helped. It helped. Oh, mine's not far. Job is selling video games. Beautiful. Amazing. I'm not gonna ask you who you work for, but I would like to know what type of video games you sell. 
because I don't want to like, I don't want to dox you. I also don't want you to feel like I'm like, oh, networking opportunity. Cause it's not, that's not what I'm doing. I'm just genuinely curious as to what kind of games you sell. Genre, genre, like broad genre is a uh, happy with that. <laughs> what? Uh, between 11 and 65. Beautiful. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> I need the delete skip add on. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Great. Like, I, I got it, and then as soon as I was done, I deleted it because I didn't want to accidentally do stuff. Video games. And I was like, ah, oh, brilliant. Yes, because they've got locations bloody everywhere. Awesome. Bloody Fantastic. The battlefield. Um. Hey, a wit. Welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. Can I show you Death Charges Reigns? 200 tip. <gasps> I've got great news for you. Um, The Death Charges Reigns. That's, um. Wait, is that the, um, Strathom? Riven Death, Just Riven Death, Death Charger? Is that the one you're, I think that's the one you're after. Um, it took me 209 attempts. You so you're close. Go get him. Yeah, I believe in you. I believe in you. You can do this. You've got it. It's yours. It just hasn't manifested in your bags yet. That's all. Desk charger. Oh, good! The captions are working again. Fantastic. <laughs> I mean, not that they weren't working. More that um, we we here believe that closed captioning is a source of a, is is an entertainment source in and of itself. Um, so if if the uh, if you were wishing for an additional layer of entertainment for for your for your stream viewing this evening, feel free to turn on the closed captions that you know get me get what I'm saying correct approximately seven percent of the time. <sighs> I think the best one we have so so far is Dragonfly Alfred. We've got River Dance Desk Charger. <laughs> See, okay, here's the thing. That could be real. So, like, you know those, you know those, um, like the the charges, like the, the phone charges that you have like on your and you just like put your phone on it and it wireless wirelessly charges. Now now imagine that, that's your desk charger, but like branded merch from River Dance. There's a market for it, I'm sure there is. <laughs> oh lord. So how many tunes are we gonna get leveled today? Like how many how many Maldraxxuses? Mal Mal how many of them are we gonna get through today? Really enjoyed money nerds instead of mining no <laughs> Yeah. Ah oh, dear. Maybe we need a like a channel in the Discord for just closed caption flubs, and then every time anything happens you can like put, you know, this is this. And and just if anyone's feeling a little down one day and needs a bit of a, a giggle, they can just scroll through the entire history of that channel. <laughs> Just create our own language, yeah. It's English, but not. I mean, technically isn't English English, but not, to be fair. Can you guess what CC just said? Well, no, because I've probably said about 100 words in the last two seconds. Playing well at the moment, I'm a pretty casual player. I only have one level 60, which is a BM Hunter. Sorry, no, don't apologize. We have a few Hunter mains here, actually. Leveling a second tune, because you're on Rogue. You have 50 level 60s. I do not. I do not. I'm working towards it. That's what the spreadsheet's for. Have a look. It's got all my tunes and what levels they are and stuff. Exclamation 50, 60. So F I F T Y 60 S. Then you can follow the link that, that Koala Tron will give you. It is a legit link. It's okay. It's safe. Um, Koalatron's a bot, so it's, um, yep, and it'll show you all of my tunes, what factions they are, what race they are, what class they are, and, uh, also what covenant they are, but then the, what level they are, too. It's a pretty fancy spreadsheet, if I do say so myself. Um, but I do, I have 15 60s, 1-5. 15 60s currently. Um, everyone else is 55 plus, except for two that are at 51. But I'm probably not going to level them um, because they're going to be replaced with evokers. I'm going to delete because 50 is the cap of tunes you can have on an account. Um, so I'll delete them and make those slots my evokers when Dragonflight gets here. Or when I can. 
The phrase was money nerds instead of money nerds. Good. It's because it's because of my accent. It's like most closed captioning services seem to be trained on an American accent. And I reckon that's what it is. It's it's just my particular accent is um Yep. Some awesome work. Thank you, Yellow. Thank you. I am a completionist. It is it is what I like doing. I like filling up bars. I like 100 percent I like crossing things off, ticking things off, whatever whatever the UI gives me. Um, it makes me happy. Um, so that's what we're doing. I also really, 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 really fucking want the goddamn heartbreak amount uh, from Lovers in the Air. Um, and so having the most tunes possible on one account. I mean, I could have 400 tunes, but no, I'm not, I'm not doing that. Um, uh, but basically, yeah, because the Heartbreaker, you get one chance per tune per day, and there are 15 days in the event, if you have a full account that are eligible, 50 tunes that can, th that can get it to drop, you get 50 attempts a day for a total of 750 attempts. Um, so we did it this year. Uh, I had my 50-50s because le level 50 was the requirement to be able to get it to drop this year, but next year, because we'll be in Dragonflight, usually the requirement is max level of the previous expansion. So considering that by the time Dragonflight's here, the previous expansion will be Shadowlands, of which the max level is 60, you're probably going to need to be level 60 to be able to have the Heartbreaker drop. Um, so having 50 60s gives me my 750 attempts. Not that I'm going to use them all because it's going to drop next year, isn't it? Tuh. Isn't it, you lot? Manifesting. <laughs> What's your main tune, at least the one you enjoy playing the most? I do have a main. My main is Fia, funnily enough. Um, Fiamma, she is a fire mage. Fiamma is Italian Let for flame. With my sources. No. Zam, I'm going to kick you in the face. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you? We got to, like, all of us. We all have to believe for this to work, Sam. Oh, shit. Ah, uh, damn best you deserve it. all your work. But thank you, Nutty. But I mean, this is the thing. I got them all to 50 before last year's. I, I got there two weeks before the event started and it didn't bloody drop. So like, I'm, look, I'm, a, I'm definitely not salty. Uh, but this year, 2023 is going to be it. It's going to be the thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, wrong button. This one. But yeah, so next year. Next year it's gonna drop. And it's it's not gonna make me go through streaming 15 days in a row. Five finishing off the grand finale with a stream until 3.30 in the goddamn morning. I'm old and sick. You can't do this to me, Blizz. <laughs> Can't do this to me. <sighs> no, it'll be fine. It's it'll drop and it'll be amazing and everyone will flip their shit and it'll be great. If we're going about the wrong way and you have to be aloof about it. Maybe then maybe it'll drop. Now what I have to do, Yori, is open the box while I'm on a stream reader screen. You know it. You you know it. That's what I'm gonna have to do, and then it's gonna bloody drop. you going um to unlock stream readers how far away like what do what do you need to get into the program because i saw your bar on stream the other day six follow are you kidding guys yo guys um so yori has recently kicked off with like so yori used to stream with her partner um on like a joint channel and now yori has a separate channel uh, and she's trying to get into, like, so, so Stream Raiders, the thing that we play, um, she's, you've got to have a certain number of followers and viewers and blah, 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 to, to be able to participate in that as a captain, like I do. Um, and Yori is six followers away. That's ridiculous. So if you wouldn't mind, 
uh, clicking on Yori's name, and then you don't, you don't even have to leave the page. You just click on Yori's name, and then there's a little follow button there. If you just hit that for me, um, that would be really great. Thank you. So technically, this isn't controlling how often you shoot. No, I, I know. I am aware of this. <laughs> I make my own poor life choices, but I, I, I seek to blame others for them. Oh, dear. Uh, do I make mozza sticks or chicken wings? If you say both, I will confiscate your kneecaps. That's fine. Mine is shit. Both. <laughs> oh, 56. Awesome. Um. Done. Fantastic. Thank you, Rocket Drummer, for in the year you forget to do it. It drops in the first attempt in the last day. Yep. Look, there's not going to be a year I forget to do it because there's just such a bloody... February is the biggest month of the year for me. Um, it's it's love is in the air. It's my birthday. It's my stream anniversary. It's also my my mother's birthday, my stepfather's birthday, and one of my step siblings' birthdays as well. Like it's it's big. There's like seven of us in the immediate family. Four of us have a birthday in February, and then there's stream anniversary, and then there's it's just, no, there's no way in hell I could ever forget it. <laughs> like it's just yeah. Unfortunately, it's uh like in there. I made the photo go brilliant. Done. Thank you. McClose, hello. Welcome on in. I must ask, Stream Raiders is really laggy for the browser for me. Uh, that's. I'm sorry to hear that. I know that there were some people who were having some issues with it, but I don't know how they ended up fixing it. I know their Discord has a few people chatting about it, but what was your question? Because you said I must ask, but there wasn't it. Was there, was there a question that you wanted to ask about that? Because I'd, I'd like to help if I can. Um... <laughs> You're so welcome, Yuri. Jesus Christ. Hello, as always, Abido. Well, as always to you as well, Minnie. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Welcome back. All right, I deal with that attitude all day. I make this shit choice was absolutely somebody else's fault because three days ago, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's it's absolutely Blizzard's fault because 15 and a half years ago, there was this game that I started playing and then, like... <laughs> No matter what you which browser you use. As a captain, I don't use it in a browser. Um, because the way that it works with the, like, streaming software, OBS and stuff like that, it runs a lot, like, it, it causes issues if you're trying to stream it from the browser as a captain. Uh, so they have a, like, a downloadable program that captains can use. I don't think it's available to viewers, though, because it's, like, um, yeah, it's got some extra bits and bobs. Uh... But yeah, no, I, I don't play it in the browser. So um, I use Chrome, but I don't play it in the browser, so I don't think it affects much. Yeah. Uh, I'm home from work. It's a good day now. Fantastic, Minnie. Brilliant. Glad to hear it. Um, but yeah, look, if you're if you're having some lag issues, I know there were a... I, I remember, like... A bit, like quite a while ago uh, now, there were a bunch of people talking about how the browser was laggy for them. I kind of just skipped over it because I don't use the browser, so I didn't really need the information. Uh, but there's like a troubleshooting, like a troubleshooting channel in their Discord. So if you jump on in there and let them know that you're having trouble with the browser, tell them what browser you're using, what version number, all that kind of stuff, um, there should be a handful of people who'll be able to give you some tips uh, on how to get it to work a little smoother. Yeah. Alright, sorry, I'm just squishing this so it doesn't squish me. Perfect. Fade, Miklu, Sneke, and Zam, congratulations to all of you on your bonus ship. Well done! Well done. Alright. Where are we going? Skin chest. I spy a skin chest. Let's go top. Well done, Zam. Well done. She knows. I can't place another barbarian, but I do need to get assists from Tank King. So let's just plop down a tank and hopefully get some assists. <laughs> Enjoy. Alright. <clears throat> okay, 
So after this one, I need to skip over one in my spreadsheet because they're supposed to be an art build. I'm going to just clear out all those green ones first to finish off Maldraxxus completely on all my tunes, and then we'll skip ahead into Dragon Wheel. Uh, drag fucking book. I'm tired. <laughs> skip over into Arden Wheels. Hello, Kay. Welcome back. How you doing? Hope you're doing wonderfully well today. Have you got them color coded to where they're leveling? Um, I did go and do that. It's it's where they're up to. Like if I'm talking to uh the person in Oroboss, what is the next zone they're supposed to do? Um Because we were having the discussion when I jumped onto that tune and she was like halfway through Bastion, so I'm like, what the hell? How is this possible? So I thought, no, bugger it. And um, one night after stream, I went and flicked through them all just to check where they were supposed, where, like where they were up to. Um, and so yeah, so we've got that. So all the green ones are the ones that are currently standing in Oroboss, waiting to start Maldraxxus. So they're the ones I'm going to get through first, and then I'll start working them all through Ardenweald. And most of them will probably. Oh, actually, the 56s probably won't ding. Look, we'll see. Um, they'll be damn close. I don't think I'll I don't think I'll actually finish Rovendreth on anything on anyone, but yeah. Great, hope you're doing well. I am, thank you for asking. Okay, well hoping, I should say. Thank you for hoping. I don't think they're ready to jump into DF. Look, 15 of them are. All right, we've got time. I can I can wait. I need some more time before DF. Let me get them done. <laughs> Let me get them leveled. Actually, where am I up to? What's the date today? The 29th. I don't get 10 yellow, only four green, no blues yet, lol. Yep, that's fine. Look, you're getting there. Um, so we're at 6543. Which puts me, so 29th of August was done. We finished that yesterday. So we're up to the 30th. So we're a day ahead. One day ahead. <clears throat> I'm guessing you've gone with yellow for Bastion. Um, so I got the horses shark out from the table. Yay! Ticking his mouth on my day. Absolutely. Doesn't matter how you get them, you're still getting them. 100%. Okay. Reds to the next bit. We need heavy artillery to repair I am looking forward to being done with Maldraxxus. Pale yellow of the fields. Beautiful. I love that. I think yellow suits Bastion. Agreed. Agreed. It is kind of interesting that they went with two different shades of blue for the anima rather than like a, a pale gold or something for Bastion. I guess they couldn't go with like a, a wispy grey kind of shade because it's kind of mostly what the uh, what the moor does, but um, like some kind of golden shade would be nice. But oh well, olive green from our Jaxes. Mmm. No, I didn't want to confuse the blue about wheel. Totally fair. Totally fair. Purple blue for Ardenweald, red for Revendreth, obviously, obviously. Well, I mean, Revendreth could be like a dark brown. Like grey. I just, I just pick the, uh, the colours out of the, um, so I tend to, like, you know how when you're in Google Sheets and you've got the bright colours along the top and then right under them is, like, the super pale shades? Those are the ones I always use, the ones just under the, the super bright ones. Just because I find that they're, um, how would I, like, they're, they're colourful enough that they, they, they're obviously a colour, but they're pale enough that, like, black text works with all of them, so I don't have to, like, fiddle around with, um, 
text colors so that they can be seen and stuff. The pastel ones are like those don't have my eyeballs. Yeah, that's that's why I use them. Those are the ones that I've used for like the, the green of the percentages and then the green and the blue for the Maldraxxus and Ardenwheels. Um, red and the blue for Alliance and Horde. Uh, the 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 race color the race the class colors um the class colors I went and actually found the 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 proper hex codes that they're supposed to be and then um and then desaturated them <laughs> so that they fit in with all the other pastels. Hunter, don't, why don't I have XYZ? Press N. Oh, no talents at all. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, talents. No, having no talents will, will do that. <laughs> Onwards. Oh, right, we're recruiting animates. Brilliant! I think I was on to... <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, I tend to just kind of, like... My, uh, my talents are whatever the GSC macro tells me to be. <laughs> I don't know, I don't have to think. It just tells me, like, 22312, two, and I'm like, alright, done. Taking so long to die that they're like disappearing. I need to just hit the orb while I'm in combat. Okay. Look, blood is survivable as hell, but things die real quick. Uh, real slow. Stuff like bone armor doesn't help. Got some meat on your bones, huh? I think I might challenge myself with GSE for Dragonflight. I'm gonna try and make my own back rows. Oh, that'd be so cool, Cash. That'd be awesome. Yeah, I um, I I wouldn't even know where to start. And honestly, I just look. <laughs> I don't have time. But I think that'd be really, really funky. Super funky. Do Blues think I'm killing animals without skin? Surely I'd notice. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. I think it's more like, are, are you are you skinning, meaty, or is it is it a quest where you're trying to grab pelts or something? I think it's more like when you tried to cut the pelts off, you were slightly inept and like 
completely ruined it while you were getting it sort of thing. It's it's like the it's like having to get eyeballs. It's like why why doesn't this creature have two eyeballs? It's like no it does. It's just that you mushed one while you were trying to retrieve it. Welcome priest on the website. Oh awesome! That's so cool. Not sure if I've seen them. Look, I don't tend to go digging. I usually just kind of open up the first page of whatever spec I'm looking at and grab the one with the most views, to be perfectly honest. Um, but maybe I should give them a go. Maybe I should hunt them down and see if I can find them. Give them a crack. Pelts? Yeah. yeah I, think, I think it might just be that your character is um, not so good at the skinning thing. Uh, you know, role-playing perspective and all that. Oh, that was one that I'd already- okay. Oops. You there. It's one thing I do love about DK. Yoink! Ignore all the other mobs, I just want that one. And then hope that they're not all leashed together. How's <laughs> that popcorn shrimp the reason we most of sticks? And popcorn shrimp, delicious. Hope they're wonderful. You're suggesting that a tune inept enough not to select talents would also not know how to remove a pellet. <laughs> You're so fair call, <cool>, yeah? <laughs> Look. Look. So, um, this morning, I, I had a play around with streaming Beat Saber to Discord. And, um, I've discovered that I am in need of a new graphics card. It was bad. It was bad. It was showing up just fine on the PC, but sending it through the headset, it was terrible. Like it was it was glitching and and um and like stuttering enough that it gave me motion sickness and I have not had motion sickness once while playing Beats ever. And so I'm like, okay. Okay. So, um, I'm, I know of, I know of, uh, like, PC Parts Picker, where, like, it's a website where you can kind of stick in all the parts that you want to get, and it'll basically tell you if it will function or not. Like, it'll tell you if those are compatible with each other. Um, and I've been sent a recommendation on a video card that's, like, probably within my price range, and I just need to see if it will, like fit with the rest of my setup or if I'm going to need to upgrade other stuff as well, but um, that is how that website works still, right? It may just be Discord. Was like, no, no, no. Discord was uh, look, Discord was chewing through like CPU, like massively um, but it, like the Discord stream was beautiful. I was I was uh, streaming it to Royal Kiwi um, so that he could, you know, check out what was going on and, and give me some, like, opinions on the camera angle and, and all that kind of stuff. And everything was flawless from what he could see. But what I saw in the headset made me want to puke. <laughs> so I'm... Is that... Would that still be GPU? Or, or would that be... The only two things that are possible in compatibilities will it fit in the case and disappear so you have enough power. Really? Huh. Okay. I thought that some motherboards couldn't support some GPUs and stuff. Cause like, okay, here's the thing. I have a goddamn 1060. Like, it's old. Like my whole build now is coming up on, I think close to like either four or five years. I can't remember exactly. Um, and so like, it's, uh, hmm. I'm wondering if a, like, a motherboard that old is going to support like a newer I'm not I, I don't have the money to buy like a several thousand dollar graphics card so that's not it's not going to be a fancy shiny new one but yeah is that a jazz or am I having auditory hallucinations 
I'm done. Uh, ever since PCIe came in, all GPUs and people with all motherboards, even technically small. Oh, no way! Oh, that is so cool. Yay, I'm pretty sure my PSU will be fine. It's a 750 watt. Um, and the last time I calced my build, it came in at like 400 and something. I purposely bought one with like a lot of extra space in case I wanted to attach a million and one peripherals. But yeah, that's so cool. All right, definitely do a part list and PC part bigger if there's incompatibilities. GB should be fine. Huh. So cool. All right. All right. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, only motherboard related issues if you're using riser cables. I don't know what those are. <laughs> I don't know what those are. So maybe? Question mark? Did someone say cake? I don't. I don't think so. I said riser cables, but I mean, did I say cake? Uh, if your specs are correct on your Twitch page, you can possibly be bottlenecked by your CPU as well. Use for vertical mounting the GPU, which I highly doubt you're doing. No, I am not. I yeah no, I'm not doing that. Um yeah no, my my CPU is also not like super brilliantly awesome. It handles streaming with OBS perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Um, and Discord streaming, again, Discord was beautiful. Like the image going through Discord. Okay, so I, I have a Quest 2 is the VR headset I'm using, but um, I'm using it with Steam games. So I'm, I'm hooking it up with, uh, with the official cable that, um, the, the, the official Airlink cable, um, uh, and then using, uh, like, the Oculus desktop app, and then via Steam VR to Beat Saber, um, because it's just easier to mod and custom songs and shit like that, uh, and the, um, the Discord, like, on the, on the computer, image was perfect quality, no skipping of sound, nothing like that, the, the image and the sound streaming through to Kiwi was flawless. But in headset, the music was choppy, the, the image kept locking up. Um, and I basically just like every, <laughs> I, I had to, I had to slash the blocks a good couple counts before they got to me because by the time they actually got to me, they were behind me and I'd missed it and I failed the level. I ended up getting like A's and I did not know how, but um, Kiwi actually like, screen recorded a section to send it to me so that I could see what it looked like from his end and it was flawless it was perfect but in headset it was unplayable I mean okay it wasn't unplayable I got an A but I was wanted to puke and it was a trash experience so for me that makes it unplayable um no cables as you can tell I'm hungry <laughs> okay good brilliant what kind of cake cake there I said it brilliant can be a CPU bottleneck GPU will still work just possibly not to its fullest potential Will, is there a possible, and I'm, I'm sure, okay. I'm sure there is a possibility that the CPU will bottleneck if I'm running Discord and VR at the same time. The, okay, so here's, here's what I'm trying to do. This is what I tested with Kiwi and everything works except on my end. Substreams in Discord. I, I jump into sub chat, the voice channel. Everyone else is muted. You can hear me yelling at you because I stand over there. So I yell so the microphone can pick me up, but I have Twitch chat in game. So you're sitting in discord watching a sub only stream, but interacting me with me via Twitch chat, even though I'm offline. Song requests still work in Twitch chat, even though I'm offline. So we can do all that kind of stuff, but I can make it sub only. And I cannot get DMCA. <laughs> Basically. And it means that I can do like, I can do my morning workout for like, you know, 40, 45 minutes or whatever it is and not have it like drastically affect my, my stats for, for sponsorships and stuff like that as well. So it's, and I'm trying, I'm trying to like value add to subscribe to subscription. So that's what I'm trying to accomplish here. Right. Will up, given my others, and, and what's in my panels staying, that is correct. That is, um, 
last time I checked, which was approximately three days ago, those are those are my specs. Um, so given that, if I were to upgrade my GPU, not te not not hugely. Um, what was the one that what was the one that Kiwi linked me? Kiwi linked me a GPU that was um, very reasonably priced. It was an AMD one. Give me. A second. Discord has just been a bit lately. Um, so I don't really necessarily need the GPU to work to its fullest potential. I just need it to do the, the stuff. Um, he's, okay, so he's recommended a 1660. Six gig. Super tough, whatever that is. I'm guessing it's just like a, a name of the range, but yeah. Stuttering could be CPU or GPU bound. Discord streaming specifically is really shittily optimized relative to OBS or Twitch. That probably didn't help. I would recommend trying it out with the OBS Twitch test stream. Okay. I can definitely do that. No one will be able to s Oh, but it doesn't matter what they- what it looks like for them. Because I know it looks fine for them on Discord. It's trying to figure out- for me. If that- if that- I still wouldn't be able to- I don't know enough about VR streaming to say what would be cause the issue on your end. That's okay. Thank you anyway. Th thank you for like thinking of it. Anyway, okay. I appreciate it. Um, afternoon, dupe. Hope you're doing well. I would, uh, how's my doctor treating you today? Um, Every time I try to think of a, fu a funny little smart thing I could say about Maldraxxus, it ends up being something that could be taken like terribly, horribly wrong. Um, so I'm just going to say, well, thank you. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, like I say, oh, so covenant spells on bar, freaking awesome. Thing. That's okay. Half of my tunes I haven't been using the covenant stuff. So, it, like, look, it, it just it happens. It's from stream readers, but it's stupid. Always use Chrome for everything with stream readers. I need to use Microsoft. Oh, that's so strange, McCluse. I wonder what's going on there. That's really odd. But I'm glad. I'm glad you found a fix, McCluse. I'm really glad. Well, like, well done. Draxus is plaguey today. You're a DK. Easy connection. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Welcome home. How are you doing? No door shadows means no covenant buttons. Uh, I'm on Necrolord on this one. So what would it be for Abomination Limb? Okay, yeah, no, I think that's. I don't think the macro is using it. I oh, will. I don't know. Oh well. Wasn't Abomination Limb the one that kind of? It just pulls to your location if they're further than it is, which means I'll pull a whole bunch of stuff I don't necessarily need, which would be bad, right? If I'm like out in the open world. Oh, considering constructive area, it's constructive. Okay, slappy hands isn't in the macro. What? No. I don't think so. I haven't seen it happen, so. Fishcraft and the Nova. Nova. Uh, or are they specific to classes too? Um, so, Fleshcraft is like. So, there are two for the Covenants. One of them applies to all Necrolords, and one of them applies to a DK Necrolord or a demon hunter necrolord, or a mage necrolord, or a priest necrolord. So one of them's class and covenant, the other one is just covenant. Does that make one of the- and the, the one that's just covenant is usually utility, and then the one that's like for the class as well, um, has some kind of functionality within the classes, like how the class actually works. Yeah. I should put loaded damage. Yeah, but it pulls stuff! So wouldn't upgrade and recommend it to 60s, it's a couple years old, what do I go? I can't afford anything, Stang. I'm fucking broke. Like, um, that's why Kiwi recommended a lower end one for me because I'm, I'm, yeah. I, <laughs> like, if I'm going to upgrade a part of my PC, I can probably as afford to spend maybe a couple of hundred bucks. That's it. Maybe. Yeah, I, I can't afford $850. Like, that's entirely too much. Even if it's on sale, like, it's just not. Um. Yeah. 
Oh well. If it's not worth investing, then I'm, I won't. Because, yeah, I can't. Uh, everyone gets fleshcraft. Yeah, so that's like your covenant wide one, and then the other one is like specific to your class. Smack him. Uh, takes too long to kill stuff I don't need to kill. Hey, Abby, welcome back. Good evening. 1660s are still really good cards. Yeah, well, th this is this is the problem. This is the problem I always tend to run into, um, especially when I'm looking. And talking to people in a streaming space is like if you try to look at anything less than the top five cards what you're looking at is trash it's really hard to find opinions on budget options because that's what i'm i'm on a budget i you know i, I may be a content creator and i know that this is my job and stuff but i still have to have the money to be able to invest in what i'm buying um and I can't aff I know I can't afford to future proof myself at the moment. I I, I can't. I know I, I know I can't. I know I should be doing that. I know it's worth spending the extra money so that you don't have to upgrade again in a year or two. But when you can't afford to do that, it's it's as simple as that. You just you just can't afford it. Um Yeah, I have some other expenses that are like coming up or have come up or whatever that um I have to take a priority. Um, AU, it's a few hundred for us, is a bit more in AU, yeah, yeah. Honestly, 1660 isn't enough of an upgrade over a 1060 to justify the purchase. Okay, that's fair, that's fair. I love a Necrolid Priest and a Venthyr Mage, no, they varied so much. Yeah, it's pretty cool, hey dude. Comparison of a 2060 base, ah uh, no, a 3060 is what Stang was talking about. 3060 or a 3060 Ti. super did he well it says super tough but i just assumed that that was because it had like some kind of fancy case on it uh asus geforce gtx 1660 super tough gaming six gigabyte video card discord is just running like shit it's been for ages um would you just find a bit of an upgrade from what you have May yeah, then, but then the question, like, now that, like, Jack has also said it's not enough of an upgrade to justify the price, so give me... That's an M-Wave. What about... Uh, does... You mark, what does you mark on the map? Because I get pro pricing there. Not because I'm a pro, because I've spent enough with them that they give me a discount. Like, their program is called, like, the pro program or whatever it's called. All right, so 379. They're selling the six, they're, they're selling the one that Kiwi has recommended for 379. And then the 3060s are looking at, uh, there's one, uh, 589. What, okay, just show me all of them and Sort them by price, please. Price low to high. $39 is not for a graphics card. That's a headset. You wankers. There we go. GeForce RTX 3060 category. And then the other one is the 3060 Ti. Perfect. Uh, so the cheapest one they've got there is out of stock. And it's a refurbished for $450. Um, but it's out of stock, so the cheapest they've got in stock is 539. So that's still, what was that? 379 to 539. Quick myth. Nah, I'm not gonna bother. 160 more? I think that's the math. That's, okay, that's maybe something I could do, but I'd have to take time to do it. Given our rent is going up shortly, and <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. <laughs> Ain't life grand. Ain't life grand. Fade, Silver Molly, Duran, Sand, and Joe. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus ship. Well done. 
Uh, running a 980 Ti without issue for years. Need to upgrade to me. Eh, also, you don't do what I do. <laughs> you don't. You don't push your 980 Ti to do the kind of stuff that I do. So, like, as much as I appreciate, it's not really a comparison. Um. Uh. So I guess it comes to PC parts, so who knows? You're a jack, just trying to be positive, I guess. No, no, that's okay. And I, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Um, and I do, look, honesty is great. Like, I, yes, the honesty is good. And B, and also, like, talking about how, you know, maybe this is, this is the kind of model you should probably be aiming for. It is good because I can kind of sit and go, right, can I make that work? Can I make that work if I give it a few months to save up? Can I, like... You know, my, like, if I'm looking at all my priorities, where does it fit? That kind of thing. Like, it is good to have that information. Um, and I guess it just sort of means that I, I can't do what I wanted to do for a little bit. And that's all right. We can't always, you know, sometimes as content creators and we go, oh, I've got this great idea. It's, it's going to be awesome and wonderful and brilliant. And then we try it and it goes, oh, oops. And it's trash. It doesn't, you can't always do it, like, right off the bat. Like, th this whole setup has taken me, like, six and a half years to build, you know. Um, and a lot of it I didn't pay for, <laughs> to be totally honest, like, to, you know, front up. Um, both my stream decks were, were gifted, one by my father, one by an anonymous viewer. Both of my my key lights were gifted by Zarin. The, like, microphone was gifted by Blue. I bought the boom to go with the microphone because I figured I'm not buying the microphone so I can afford to buy the boom. Um, the money for the the camera was donated. Um, I, the keyboard and mouse and headset is all from Logitech. Like, and and the like the inside the guts of the PC I um, redid with uh, a tax refund like four years back or whatever, four or five years. And the screens I've had shit for. God, I've maybe even coming up on eight or nine years now. I'm trying to think how long. It, I bought these screens basically when I moved to Brisbane. And I've been living here for a while. <laughs> so, like, what is it? We're, like, eight, eight years-ish. Yeah, I think it's only about the eight-year mark that I've been living in Brisbane. So I've had both my screens from... Oh, no, I've had one screen for eight years. I bought the second one just before I started streaming. So that's been about seven years. So, like... <laughs> it Like, I, I haven't spent a whole lot on my PC of late, which is great. But it's also not great, obviously, because now it's not doing... It's not keeping up with my brain. And that's okay. I can... Oh, you... Poopy head. So look, we'll, we'll get there. Um, I'll just have to... I keep having all these great ideas for stuff I can do and then I go, all right, money. So <laughs> we'll get there, we'll get there. Thank you guys, I really thank you for giving me honest opinions. Like, I really, really appreciate that because the last thing I want to do is go and spend hard-earned cash that could be used for other things, other priorities on something that's just not worth it. It's the last thing I want any of you guys to do is like all the affiliate programs and stuff that I've got. I would never like recommend something that I didn't think was worth the money. Yeah? So I appreciate it. I really, really do. What the hell? I I was going to say what would I do without you guys, but I mean, I probably wouldn't need new stuff if it weren't for you guys because I wouldn't be a content creator and it's a whole thing. So look, it's all interconnected. Um... Um, they've got a 2060 for 399. Okay. For 20 extra bucks over a 1660. How's a 20 how how is a 2060 for like I know that's not going to be wonderfully future proof. I'm also keenly aware that I'm pretty sure with Dragonflight Blizzard are updating the like recommended and minimum specs required and I don't think I meet them. <laughs> <laughs> so that's fun, but I think that's a CPU thing, not a, um, not a GPU thing. CPUs, oh, CPUs are so expensive for a little tiny thing. Like it's smaller than a cracker, for God's sake. Is she like a sitting? No, no, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, I'm not a mod. You got no hope. Oh no! He said like there was doubt. Still think at least I win. Someone is in the sparring mood. Um, hey Josh, welcome back. 
Oh, I just need to replace the mouse on my setup now. It's brand new. Oh, beautiful. That's awesome, Nutty. That's fantastic. I need to... Embarrassing moment. I haven't done my taxes yet. I haven't done my taxes yet, and I need to. Um, I really need to. They were on my to-do list for this weekend, and then I was unwell, so... Uh, <laughs> we'll get there. Wrong screen. Oh no! Oh fuck, I'm an idiot. Alright, good. Did I get my assists? No. It's alright, we were chatting anyway. Don't need to see what I'm doing. Um, I reckon without us to be talking to your monitor instead of your camera. No, I think without you guys, I'd probably be belting out whatever was playing on Spotify at the top of my lungs. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, we got link protection, unfortunately. Um, 1660 about 20% better. Is that 33% better than 1660? Okay. So that's a big jump for 20 bucks. A 2060 is going to be far more worth it than a 1660. But I should still try to aim for a 3060 if I can get the money together. Is that probably a good estimation of the circumstance? Cave to replace my one the other day, downgraded to a 27 Ah, oh, that's so good to hear, Nutty. I'm so glad that something, I mean, obviously changing out an entire monitor isn't simple, but I'm like, it's still more simple than, you know, like medical intervention in terms of a, a fix for that. That's great. Yeah, but oh, of course, of course, of course. Um, let, oh, for goodness sake, battle, planning, there we go. Uh, between all I go to the 2060. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I mean, you could still be belting out Spotify if you wanted to. Just don't play the music this stream and sing it for us. Absolutely not. If I'm accurate enough, which I wouldn't be, but let's just pretend. If I was accurate enough, I could still get DMCA'd. Okay. If you're able. Yeah, okay. All right. Oh, hang on. I just noticed I'm not logged in on you, Mart. Give me a, let me see if I sign in if that price drops. Wouldn't that be delicious? I probs won't, but I mean, nah, it didn't. <laughs> it's already, it's already, um, it's already low enough. Um, so that 539 one is a gigabyte GeForce RTX 3060 Eagle OC 12G LHR graphics card Rev 2.0. I'm guessing that's revision. What is the... What's the eagle thing about? <gasps> There's one called a phoenix? Why am I getting that one? Oh, because it's $40 more. Okay. Does that make it? Of course it makes it better. More money means it's better. I swear to God, I do actually know stuff about computers. I just don't know this level of stuff about computers. I, pr I, I have built all of my babies since I was old enough to not eat the screws. Um... <laughs> I, I have built them myself and I know how to do that. I just, picking out the parts is not where my strength lies. I, I don't know that level of stuff about my tech. I have to check my like device manager to see what I have sometimes. That's why I put it in the panels actually, so I could just check the panels if I forgot. Um. Um. Okay, but what did anyone else who has one today? Uh, I think there's a bank holiday in the UK, dude. I remember people talking about it yesterday, I think. I could be wrong. I'm probably wrong. So annoying to have to do the world quest in Bastion before I can kill the stupid force one. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I agree. I agree. I don't like that. You still can, but it's so much harder. What you gotta kinda do is just like pull them into packs of people doing the world quest and hope for the best. It's mostly just branding. They need an animal to tell them apart. Yep. Today, hey, more money means more means better. Yeah, that's that's gotta be it, right? Yes, indeed. Good memory. Are you are you mocking me, Mara? No. <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes little stupid random things stick. And it's never the stuff I want to stick. But it's okay. Look, I I, I deal with it. Much rather using device manager than opening up and looking under the hood. Yeah. Although. I was, I was trying to figure out what my PSU was, um, cause I was, I was actually looking at cases for a very unrelated reason.
and I needed to know what size my C like not 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 what what wattage but what physical size my CPU was because I wanted to see would I be able to gut Oracle and stick her in a new case uh, and it turns out I could if the specific cases I was looking at for reasons um, but <laughs> um, so I, I like I actually there's a like a see-through panel on the side of my case not like the whole side isn't glass it was just a, like a side just a piece of the panel and so I was underneath my desk with my phone with the light kind of like trying to look down the side around the GPU to see the to see the PSU yeah <laughs> I ended up having to take the side off because I couldn't see properly couldn't see properly Ah, uh, dear. Hello, Gulpy. Welcome on in. Hope you're having a fantastic day today. Hello, Musk. Welcome back. What's a good AU PC part store? UMart. UMart for Queensland, MSY for Melbourne. Fear is an intelligent. Is PLE good? Ah, uh, yes? Question mark. It wouldn't be my first place to visit, but... Um, like, my, my usual go... Like, UMart is my first for, like, Queensland. Like, Umart. Um, and then uh, I'd usually go to MSY. When I was living in Sydney when I was there um, doing yeah, uni, um, I would always go to MSY. Um, but yeah, MSY tends to be... Peel is not bad. No harm in comparing. Like, Umart is the kind of place where you get... It, stuff is, like, usually reasonably discounted uh, and the customer service is shit. Um, if you go in there not knowing what you want it's going to be a problem. Um, if you go in there and saying, here is my very specific setup and I, I need something that does dot, 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 then they'll go, okay, here's your option. Um, or if you go in there saying, I want a this, they'll go, sure. And it's like super quick. If you go in there trying to like, oh, look, I'm trying to, I'm thinking about doing something like da, 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 da. They'll just kind of look at you and roll their eyes and be like, Google it. Um, but that's like, it's kind of, you know, your, your bare bones, get in, get out kind of place. And I love that because it's cheap. <laughs> Although in recent years, they've gotten a lot better. In recent years, they've got, usually they'll have like one staff member on hand who can do the healthy stuff and everyone else is just get work done, get shit done. Um, <laughs> hello, Gulpy. Um, the hair is, is Manic Panic. The shade is Vampire Red. And I love it. So thank you. It, it stains everything. Everything. Like if I try to put product in my hair and like massage it into my scalp, whatever, my fingers come away pink, uh, like stained. And um, any time I have nail polish on that is not darker than my hair, uh, about after a week, I'll have like a pink tint over everything. Can't do white nails anymore. No, nope, never. Um, because it's, it's because it's semi-permanent, but it's just such a beautiful, vibrant color. It's gorgeous. Um, uh, accent, I can't really speak too much, but um, I've been told it's essentially a mixture of somewhat Australian, like mostly Australian, and then my dad is English, so there's a bit of that in there too. I hope you're doing well today. The question is, was Jess watching and laughing? When... And uh, in comparison, on three of the four gigabyte 3060s, not really any big difference. Eagle OC is slightly lower base core clock speed. Basically smaller, that's about it. Slightly lower base core clock speed means nothing to me. Does that just mean, like, because I, I don't overclock my gear. I do not overclock my gear. Um, unless it comes overclocked, because I know that there are some that, that do. Um, I know that you might also provides a service where if you, like, if you're paying them, because you can pay, you can buy your parts and then pay a small fee for them to put them together for you. And then you can just take home the PC and you can add a little more onto there to overclock it. But I feel like overclocking, you get like this much more performance and you burn out all your parts faster. I don't feel like it's worth it for someone like me. I'm not doing like, I just, I just don't think overclocking is worth it unless you're trying to buy, like, really trash stuff and make them do things they're not supposed to do. Um, I could be very wrong on that. I just, I just don't really see a whole lot of point in it. Um, but I'm guessing if it's only a slightly lower, then it's not really going to make that much of a difference unless I'm playing, like, super, super, super high-end, like, you know, released 
three days from now and it requires a $5,000 computer to play, which no, I don't play games like that anyway. Um, so I don't feel like it'll be, yeah. Um, my hair is almost the same clarity to use Manic Panic. Um, hang on, let me, oh god, camera's dark. Um, give me a second, let me fix the camera because I didn't realize it was that dark. The sun started going down, so. Um, where's my gain? Where's my gain? That's not doing anything. Where's, ah, uh, you know what? It's because the exposure's all. There we go. Brighten up the whole room. Well done. Well done. Yeah. So that's that's Vampire Red. Manic Panic have a massive range. Not affiliated. Yeah, Show shiny. Shiny. Not affiliated. Fear has the shiny. Fear got the shiny. <laughs> Good. Um. Yeah. They have, they have like, last I checked, I think four or five different reds. Um, this is very pink toned. Uh, let's see if I can get it to, we did this uh, a couple of weeks ago now. So I'm not, I'm not at the point of regrowth yet, but I am at the point where it's not kind of, yeah, it's not dyeing my hands too much anymore, which is good. But um, yeah, when I, oh, I know what I can do. This is my hair towel. <laughs> see what it, see what I, yeah, 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 that's, that's what it does. Um, and my, my pillow also looks somewhat like this, so, <laughs> but yeah, not, not too bad. The wash is out. Yeah, it, it, like, as long as you don't leave it on there, it washes out pretty well because it's just the, um, it's like the residual dye that's staining water, which then dyes stuff. So it's not actually like the, I don't know. It washes out of sheets and clothes and towels perfectly fine, but it doesn't wash out of your hair super, super quick. It does fade a little bit towards my ends, but my ends are dead and shit. Um, due to a combination of medication and permanent dye and just mistreatment. Um, but for the most part, it sticks around pretty well. It doesn't fade nearly as badly as other reds that I've had. Um, but it is, it is a pink based red. Uh, it's definitely a pink based red. Very slightly slower. Okay. Very slightly. So like, not worth an extra $40. For something called Phoenix. We'll just set the eagle on fire, it'll be fine. Um <laughs> Yes! You know, it's dark, it's bedtime soon. Brilliant. Core clock is 1807, the other 1837, so it's really not much at all. Yeah, no, that's not worth like Look, I can I can imagine wanting and needing like the best of the best of the best if you're, for example, working in uh, you know, like rendering cinematic masterpieces and stuff like that. But then you're not going to be using a bloody, like... It, it's... Yeah, look. I don't know. I, I kind of feel like some of the stuff on the... And this is this is not a, like... If you want and... Yeah, here we go. If you want and, and can afford the best of the best of the best for your personal home computer, then by all means, go for it. Everyone has their passions and their hobbies and the, the thing in their life that eats up most of their disposable income, right? And if that for you is building a hot shit PC, then fucking get it. Like, do that thing, right? But I feel like some of the stuff on the market for a personal home computer is just there. It's completely unnecessary. It's not required or needed to play literally anything on or do anything that's capable of being done with a home PC. It's just there because it can be, and it means they can charge an extra 50 bucks for it. But I may be very off in that. It just, it just feels like that sometimes. But again, if you want to pay that extra 50 bucks to get the hot, like the, the fang fandangled thing, and you can afford to do that without putting yourself in pain in other areas, then by all means, go nuts. 
yeah, it just kind of, I don't know. I know clock stuff like GPU is fine, not a huge bump. Yeah, not going to make a difference to WoW. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, I I don't just play WoW, but like I do other things and all that kind of thing as well, but it just doesn't feel, it doesn't feel necessary. Like, yeah. This is insane. <laughs> um, they do like a screwed lid pot and then they do a, um, which is like their original formula. And then they do a squeezy bottle, which is called their amplified formula. That's the one I use. Um, they reckon it's more vibrant, lasts longer, that kind of stuff. But I, I don't know. It just, it's easy to use in a fucking squeezy tube, uh, rather than a pot. Um, <laughs> and um, it's because it's semi-permanent, not permanent. It doesn't eat through your hair. It's essentially like a deep conditioning treatment with a ton of pigment in it. So Jas puts it in my hair because he helps me with it. Because I just. Look, it's it's cut it's I I did dye my own I can I'm capable of dyeing my own hair. It's just so much easier and gets a better result when somebody else does it and Jas is willing to do it and so he he offered and I'm like, okay, let's do this. So we go out into the tiled lounge room and uh, and put something on TV and he, he does my hair while we watch Netflix. Um <laughs> and then I wrap it up in cling film and I sleep with it in. Uh, and then wash it out in the morning and then do a half vinegar, half water rinse. Uh, to like, there's there's some, I don't know, it does something to the, the acid does something to your hair shaft, which apparently helps the colour last longer or something, but it was all on their website, so that's uh, like on the Manic Panic website, so I just follow their instructions. Um, and yeah, the leaving it overnight makes so much of a difference. It just, it's such a vibrant, vivid colour, and I love it. Love it. Um, whenever I go and buy more of it, I usually buy like six months worth. Like fear is a shiny. My hair is quite shiny at the moment. It's it's like uh, I think I washed it yesterday, so it's kind of like that that day after. Little little bit of oil, but not like because my hair gets oily really really quick. Really quick. Um, how do you get it so curly? It's actually not curly. That's my natural hair texture. <laughs> I haven't like this is not blow dried. It's not nothing. It's just it's just that's my natural hair texture. Um, <laughs> I haven't curled my hair in so long. I have been so, like, everything has just been so full on. I really, really want to. Maybe I can find some time to do it on Wednesday. Because I, I miss my curls. Miss my curls. Hello, Erin. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Ah, uh, I'm going to do your colors worth the bleeding. I such fucking love it. Thank you. Got the murder towel. Ah, it's fine. Fuck, 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 fuck. Woo! I think fuck. Yeah, no, you're good. Good. I figure if I swear I can't very like I can't really tell you guys not to that's just hypocritical right there are there are some streams where I won't um there are some like for example a sponsored stream if they specify in my contract that they want me to avoid swearing then I will um but I'll still like I'm not gonna tell you guys not to I just won't put chat on screen uh and when when I'm reading back your messages I'll just hop over the swears and yeah no no harm done no harm done um <laughs> Stains are hard to get rid of. They are. Luckily, blood stains aren't pink, so it's quite obvious that it's not blood. <laughs> Red tone hair dye is notoriously staining. Reds have a harder time staying in. Yeah, yeah. It's um, look, purples and blues. Like anything that's blue based is like fade city. Um, but this is kind of it's like a pinky blue. Like it is a blue based red, but it's it's like so it tin tends pink. Um, but no, it, it does a pretty good job of holding on, at least to my hair. My, my natural hair color is that kind of color where it's, um, not quite brown, but not quite blonde either. It kind of sits on that line between blonde and brown. Um, but it's not like a, like a really, really, really dark blonde or really quite a light, a light brown. I haven't seen my natural hair color outside of my regrowth in like over a decade. Um, actually maybe like 15 years now, so I'm not, I'm not really sure exactly what the colour would be these days, but, um, and I don't lighten my hair first. Um, I, I, my hair is damaged enough, uh, so I don't lighten it first. This is just over that natural hair colour. So we're running with with them. Yay! Oh, that's so good, Erin! I'm so pleased to hear that. I started it, you can survive, because it's a good reason to do anything. Continued it, sick of what did. Just RPG. <laughs> Hello, Hyper, how are you doing? Sick of what for making us all do swears. Brilliant. 
Brilliant. Only for percent of gaming gives extra cost for superficial gain, if anything. Yeah. Yeah, basically. Basically. And yeah, look, RGB is pretty and all that kind of stuff. I was more speaking to actual functionality, though. Like, you know, overclocking GPUs and, and you know, paying three grand for a single computer part. Like, it just... It's, it's unnecessary. Um, but, like... Uh, as I said earlier, I'm I'm not super down. I, f I feel like it, it's probably unnecessary, but I don't have enough knowledge to like say it for sure, and to like give that as advice. But yeah, but no. Um, RGB, yeah. All the all the pretty cosmetic things are also completely like completely overpriced and, and ridiculous and all that kind of stuff. Um, stuff without it is totally and perfectly functional. RGB can offer accessibility help though. If you can program stuff right, or if you can get somebody to help you, like get someone else to program it for you, the the colored lights can certainly help with, um, but not not just like a rainbow cascading over your keyboard, which is what I've got at the moment. But um, if you've got like certain games where you just like you know you set up a profile for a game and you set certain keys to be certain colors and stuff like that, that can help for like from an accessibility perspective. Uh, but yeah. Pretty things are often not worth the cash, unless you're going for the aesthetic and you constantly have to post photos of your setup on Instagram. Um, but yeah, functionality as well, though. Um, I watched the vod from yesterday. That was a long vod, Zika. Thing that eats all your disposable income. Oh, that's easy, Illidan. Yeah, exactly. Is there for your top jack appreciation? There was, there was. I meant literally right. Yes, of course. Of course, literally. I just chew on my bank card every so often. It's fine. Surely when I say queens, like I reckon. I mean, you can just say that anyway. Southern state where they kiss cousins. Um, that's harmfully stereotypical. Like, awfully stereotyping. Um, have new wireless peripherals now. Yas, yas, needy. Manic panic is amazing. Agreed. Agreed. Manic Panic are just... Ah, oh, so good. So good. Ah! Um, okay, compared the Eagle and the Phoenix, and other than the sizes being very different, Phoenix is one HDMI, three display, two HDMI, and two display. Okay. That's an actual functional difference. May I tempt you with my words? What kind of cables have I got now? <laughs> Uh, look, if I can if I can get away with spending forty le forty dollars less, then I'm gonna like I'm at that kind of point at the moment, unfortunately. Um, that's okay. Interesting. Thank you so much for doing that research, Kay. I like I really appreciate that. Oh, I wanted to have I should be on the back headset, mouse pad, the front of the comp. We'll have it. Didn't go out of the way to get them. Just included with lots of stuff. It is nowadays. Yeah, it's it, it's becoming more and more difficult to find a non RGB version of stuff. I'm not really big on RGB in my setup. He loves the RGB on my headset. Yeah, every time, every, every time I walk near Jess and look at him, I say, Ah, oh, your headset's low. Because the, the bars on the front here of the G733s, they glow, they breathe red when the battery's low. And Jas never charges his headset. So I just, I, every time, every time I go near him and he's wearing his headset, it's, it's... Well, wait, one time in the last month, I saw him and I'm like, your headset's got colours on it. <laughs> because it was that unusual for me to see that. It is clear you deserve only the best. Oh, Lord. I'm so happy to see some things you pretty light in the front as you can't really tell on stream. Yeah, it's because of, like, hang on. Let me... One moment, please. <laughs> yeah, it's there. It's just light pollution. <laughs> light pollution. Everything is negotiable. Ah, uh, speaking of one more. Oh, are we one away from eleven eleven? Seeker, we're almost. It's almost. It's happening. Oh no! It's it's the whole like you know. That's that's you know. I, they assume I'm from this place where they do this thing where they. 
like don't actually do that. It's yeah, of course it's a harmful stereotype. Um, but no, like the thing, the thing with uh, especially like the internet and and at our kind of like or my I should say age bracket, um, a lot of our speech habit because we like our speech we imitate people we look up to or care about or, or want to like be closer to and that kind of thing. It's it's a human thing. Um, imitation draws like if if you're it's like if you're talking to somebody and you're engaging a lot with the conversation and you like the person and I'm not talking about like having a crush I'm talking about like being you know like you, you appreciate them or you like them on some kind of level you're friends um you'll imitate their body language so like if they start leaning back you'll kind of lean to the like you'll you'll lean the, lean the same way they do if they're speaking with their hands when you respond you'll speak with your hands it's it's that kind of imitation thing and so when we're all all this globalization and interacting with people from all corners of the world via the internet all these little like australianisms or americanisms or canadianisms or you know englandisms or all these different little regional things you'll start picking them up and you know 20 30 years from now a lot of that will just be global people have picked it up in all these different places and you won't really like you'll be saying it with these random accents and it's like hang on those two don't quite go together but it, it doesn't matter because it's just that's where they've picked it up from because they've found a content creator or a celebrity or an artist of some kind or just a friend via a video game um that they really like and so they start picking up on their their own personal isms and incorporating it into their own language and stuff so I don't think there's if you if you like the phrase, I reckon. I reckon you could probably just use it. <laughs> you can get it out. Yeah, I, I know, but like, I don't know if it's a silly thing or not. But I prefer to not use adapters if I don't have to. There's just something in my head like if you're using multiple connectors to get to the place you're going, it's kind of like games of whispers, like. Every time you hop from one piece of tech to another, it's not quite the same or something. I don't, I'm sure it probably doesn't actually work like that unless you're stringing hundreds of them together, but... Mm. It's just like I was looking at hooking up a few um, USB-C cables to extend right the way out into the lounge room, which is about... I think I need 20 meters worth of cable. Because the, um, the air link for the VR headset is only like 3 meters, I think. Yeah. So I was looking at getting some connectors to get it to, to 20 meters so I could play in the lounge room while still tethered to the PC. But I feel like the, the signal would just get crap. Um, Duran, Sand, and Miklus, congratulations to all of you on your bonus ship. Well done. Sorry. It's okay. Look. You learn... You adapt. That's all that matters, right? As long as as long as we learn when we make the oopsies. That's that's what's important. That's the important part. Ignorance isn't always malicious. Sometimes you just don't know. Nation <laughs> to sleep. Okay, was it to another DVN HD? Ah, the go. Hello, Tan. Thank you so much for the look. I'm a bit behind on chat. I'm catching up now, but thank you. He's enough to get around if needed. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I have a help. Thank you. Thank you so much. I love that we have, like, not and not just for me. Like, obviously, you guys are being super amazingly helpful to me right now. But I'm just so glad that we have such an amazing community full of, of helpful people, you know. It's so awesome. And G733 gang, yas. <laughs> they aren't low yet. No, they weren't there. They weren't for a while. They, they last... Quite a while. Last 50, 40 minutes, Mark. Perfect, Sam. Oh, perfect. There you go. Mm. You have one of your monitors? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I probably... <laughs> right, I have one of the little ones. And I have one of the ones that has screws on the sides. <laughs> Don't you love my computer knowledge? I think that's a just, I think like, yeah, you know, one, one that's got the little, the shape like, like this straight across the top and then it kind of underneath with the little one. And then the one with the screws on the sides. 
I'm very good at computers. Shut up. Um, so summary, I feel like if you're having issues with frame rate during Discord streaming, a minor graphics update, uh, less than three tier upgrade just straight up won't solve that issue. I'd still test if it works fine streaming to Twitch to determine if it happens with Discord streaming, although VR plus streaming is starting to be a little heavy on both CPU and GPU. Agreed. Okay, awesome. Um, if it works fine right. to Twitch, but it doesn't work fine to Discord, how fucked am I? Oh, I can't runeforge here, can I? I need a runeforge. What do I actually have on the one I just took off first? Is it gonna let me? No. That's fine. <laughs> They're just saying things super sorry. That's fine. It's trying to so tricky to say the weird things, but I mean, does anyone have an issue with Twitch after some time watching audio video out of sync? Uh, I've heard a couple of things about that around the place. Usually a refresh does the trick. Um, but if it keeps happening, I'm not too sure. I've got no issues on my end. It sounds like the like the video is buffering, but the audio isn't, because like, yeah. But um a refresh should and I know that's not a great solution, but a refresh should help. Um how do I stop seeing your head being posted on my battle net? Uh yeah, click click play and open wow or close the close the launcher. Yep. <laughs> you can't remove the stuff on your Battle.net launcher. It's been put there by Blizzard. You don't have a choice in that. You cannot use the launcher, but that's... Yeah, you, you, there's no choice beyond that. They're not pop-ups. It's embedded in the launcher. There's nothing you can do to change that. I'm um, not the only Twitch channel that's been popping up though. There's a handful of us being featured and it's really cool to see. Really, really awesome. Um, three meters of USB-C. I know, right? How and not only that, but the, the Airlink cable's fiber optic. So it'd be hella expensive. Hella expensive. Yeah, so I just I, I did some research and then went, oh, okay, no. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. That's fine. Whatevs. I don't understand what the adapters can have two different connectors on the end. No separate Yeah, that's that's probably what I'd end. Like, yeah, that'd be fine. I I'd love like a from what it's supposed to be to what it's supposed to be, but if I don't have those, look, I'll figure it out. Yeah, DP HDMI doesn't work like that. It'll either work 100% or not work at all. Okay, interesting. Interesting. I've been lucky, I must say, I had my accents pressed for a while. Well, because school's awful now. I've used the same accent strongly. I started to come back. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, emote only. Oh, well, it's already been on. Good. I'm gonna. No, wait. It didn't. No one turned it on, but everyone's doing the stuff. Uh, the one with the screws is white. I do have a couple that have blue ones. I have so many just misc cables. I need to clean them out. I need to clean that. So no one actually turned on the thingy majiggy, did they? The let's do that. Emote only chat, go. Ah, uh, Lizzie Page said to come here. Hello, Phil. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. I apologize. I am a little bit behind on chat at the moment because I'm um, I do the whole you know. Acknowledge all the people stuff, um, but I'm getting there. I'm catching up and the emote only mode will help um, They might change earlier. I thought they had I Remember seeing them somewhere, but maybe I just maybe I dreamed it um, Most of Twitch and not discord there may be not much you can do about it. Okay noted noted but if it's crap to both, then there is probably something I can do about it. Good. Okay, thank you. I, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, it's not a pop. It's in, in the news header. Yep, it's an embed. Uh, and it's controlled by Blizzard. 
Uh, folks, find a Twitch not to Discord. You don't need to spend anything. You just need to find an alternate streaming solution. There are options like, uh, did you get a creator email a few days ago? I don't know how public that info is. Um, I, I did. I don't remember what was in it. Um. The problem, the problem is the DMCA stuff. That's like... If I, if I open it up to song requests and stuff, I guarantee you half at least of the maps that people want to see me play will be copyrighted, which means that I can't create based on them. So yeah, um, that's, that's the issue. Um, and I'm not really willing to risk on any other platforms either, but no, I, I did get the, um, uh, it was, I'm pretty sure that created email, I'm pretty sure that was posted publicly on the Twitter as well. Um, and if they didn't, then fucking Zach did. Like, genuinely, it's, it's a, it's like a common, it's a, a recurring theme where creators, like fucking Twitch partners, get more information from Zach's Twitter account than we get from actual Twitch. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so, that's fun. We're like, oh, are you kidding? Look how close I am to 57. Look at this, look at this BS. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Um, but that is now a, an Ardenwheel tune. Um. Whereas, what's true one is DVI. If it's blue, it'll be VGA. If it's white, it'll be DVI. Perfect. For the emotes, I just turned it off. Hello, Dano. Welcome on in. Oh my god, Desi. <laughs> Jesus. Ah. So many. Amazing. All right. Where's this one? This one. No cause of another creator. I know making plants, but wasn't sure. Oh, oh yeah, no. Um, I'm pretty sure it was posted on. So, um, basically, uh, I'm pretty sure it's public because there were a whole bunch of articles and stuff on it, right? Because people, there was, um, there were a whole bunch of Twitter threads where people completely misinterpreted it, and it was like, yeah. I have plants too though. Oh lovely! Yeah, I noticed mine were pretty much dead today and I was like, oh shit, right, give them water. Good, 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 good. <laughs> but yeah, my my core concern is still DMCA. Like, even if I was to experiment with doing it on other platforms, it's not um it's still not worth potentially risking banning on other platforms. Just to have fun, and plus it's kind. It's also difficult to restrict that to subs only and, and stuff. That's it was kind. Of, I was trying to perform a value add, uh, but yeah, look, we'll figure it out. Did you put up with chat. I did. Maybe you too. Did you also catch up with chat? But yeah, look. Um. Hopefully, it's crap to Twitch too. Hopefully the streaming should. The other, like, so Discord, is it because Discord streaming you can't choose what? Because if I'm streaming with OBS, it's, I'm assuming that's, um, I'm pretty sure it uses hardware. I'm pretty sure it's a graphics card rendering. God, it's been so long since I've changed these settings because once they work, you don't touch them. Like, that's kind of the way, like, once you get it working, don't touch it. Um, hardware, Nvenc. I know that's, I, I know, but look, it, I just say abbreviations as though they were an actual word, okay? That's what I do. Um, so yeah, because I'm using Nvenc, I'm guessing that I don't have the option to do that in Discord. It's very variable. Okay. Okay, even at, even at tier three as well, that's the thing that pisses me off. Like, we're at, not tier three, level three, sorry. Um... I know we've got larger file upload limits, but that doesn't really... God, why? Discord has just been really, really laggy lately. And I've reset... Like, I, I reset my whole computer, and it's... So it's not that it's just... Unless there's, like, a memory leak or something somewhere, but that would be really, really odd. Um... Server settings. See, also kabips! Exactly! And mabips. Specifically, private streaming. 
Okay, so look, I am now confused about what you're talking about, so let's be clear. Um, the recent update for creators was that partners are no longer restricted to only streaming on Twitch. Um, they can simulcast short bursts to TikTok and, and, and um, Instagram Live. But there is still not... Um, you still can't stream to Facebook Gaming, you still can't stream to YouTube. And you can't simulcast. Um, and it's it's supposed to be short form. So if I went and did an IG live right now, it, they would still not want me to do the full six hours. It would be like a short bit of it. So the idea is like if you're if you do a short stream while you're getting ready on on Insta on IG live or something, and then transition that with an overlap to Twitch, that's now okay. Welcome Simulcasting is still. Like there, there are there are restrictions on it, so I don't know. I didn't. I, like I can't stream to TikTok. Firstly, um, I don't have my my account's not large enough. Uh, TikTok streaming is. Um, don't play. Um, oh no, I can go. Okay, I can do live, but. Oh no, that's just people who are live, not. Here's my, here's live. Right, so yeah, I can go live from my phone. I can't go live, I don't have a stream key. Um, stream keys are, they used to be a lot easier to get for TikTok, they're now notoriously difficult to get. You need to be like a bigger creator. You need to have like an agent who can like, you know, petition for you and all this kind of shit. Like there's a, there's a whole thing. Um, IG live, again, same thing. Um, you can just kind of do it from your phone sort of thing. But yeah. I didn't realize that either of those had private streaming. <clears throat> that someone who I have flagged as okay previously, i.e. like with a Fianati tag or whatever in Discord, can just like jump in as, as they wish sort of thing. Stop that. Um, I've seen systems that have been fine streaming 1086k on OBS struggle streaming at 720p on Discord. Oh, the cardboard wise, that's gross. What? I wonder why. Maybe it's because they just didn't want people to use it as a streaming platform and so they just didn't make it easy. <laughs> hey, Demon, welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Oh, excuse me. That's going to help. To be confused because I thought we get confirmation YouTube, Facebook streams are good now. No. No. <laughs> um, yeah, every a lot of people just read like simulcast and didn't bother reading the rest of it. Um, no. Uh, let me... Trying to find the email. Are you? Yeah, not too bad either. Not too bad either. Um, definitely getting there. Not that button. Crap.
Um, can I stream simultaneously on other platforms or services, also known as simulcasting? We do not allow simulcasting on web-based Twitch-like services that support streaming for extended periods of time, such as YouTube and Facebook, because we believe engaging with two streams at once can lead to a suboptimal experience for your community. However, we know many of you want to use other services to grow your community, so simulcasting on short-form mobile services such as TikTok or Instagram Live is allowed. End quote. That's from the Twitch FAQ page. Um, yeah, no. Nah. Uh, exclusivity is something, like, if if you're talking about completely separate content, like one day on Twitch, one day on Facebook, one day on YouTube, they would have to check their contract. Because that is part of our contract that is different person to person. Uh, like, I think it's something like 95% of creators are, uh, partners specifically, are exclusive. But um, they'd need to check their contract um, and... If they're, if they're, like, earning big, potentially get a lawyer to look at it, because the last thing you want to do is screw that up. Yeah, that's, that there, that verbatim was from the, um, the FAQ around, uh, the updated FAQ on simulcasting. Um, from work back in a few hours, not a worry, dupe. Hello, P6. Welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. Hmm. Ah, <laughs> totally fine. I hope I, I'm. I'm glad. Well, it seems like you. You said love your stream. Okay, good. I'm glad you enjoy the content. Like, look. Sometimes you get a positive comment and you're like, oh, I'm so glad you're enjoying yourself. And then you're like, wait, actually, did they actually say that, or am I assuming now? No, it's look. It it's hard work. Um. You can absolutely make a living. Pretty pretty much anybody anybody can make a living on doing something that they love. But it's not always easy. Some loves are a lot easier than others. Um, but it, it is possible with hard work and persistence and patience. Patience is the big one. Um, like, I've been streaming for six and a half years. It, this didn't, like, it. Uh, there, there are quite a few streamers out there who kind of just popped up and after six months they're, they're partnered and all that kind of stuff. And that's fantastic. But um, it, it can take time. But if it's truly what you love, it's worth it. Patience is worth it. The last statement? Yes, absolutely. And it's never too late either. Never too late. I like to say I have ASD. I often have difficulty reading social clues and knowing the rules of situations. Also, I accidentally hurt someone through bluntness of saying something I shouldn't have. Or I don't accidentally say things that discriminate or harmful. Blame to get the diagnosis increases myths and violence from discriminating against us. Ooh. What? Did I miss something? What happened, Meaty? Oh, was that from... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. So that was from... Um, name starts with G. Out of sight, out of... Look, you know what my brain is like. Um, saying that it that may be like, slightly on the spectrum. Yeah, not... Yeah. Took me a second to get there, but I figured it out. And yeah, I agree with you, Midi. I agree. Not everybody on the spectrum manifests the same traits, symptoms, signs, whatever. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not actually sure what the appropriate terminology is these days. I like because it has. I know there are like. I know there are a couple of phrases, like a couple of descriptors we don't even use anymore, so I'm, I'm not 100% sure what the correct terminology is anymore. Um, but, like, it, it manifests differently in everybody, and, like, yeah. I feel that, for sure. Successfully let it go. No, no, don't, don't stress. It's totally fine. You call shit out when you see it. Absolutely. Standard you walk past is the standard you accept. The red is. <laughs> the air was once oh dear. You would make quite the suitable vessel. Red 
rid of her wet look. Oh crap, I keep forgetting I'm on, I keep thinking I'm on my DK and I go to grip and then I can't because I'm on a shaman. The shamans don't have grip. I always love when Fear and I are going in the same train of thought at the same time. And we'll continue with group think. Bloody love it. So give all classes group. 2k13. No, 2k23. N no. That's that's not. No. Hunters should not be allowed grip. Agreed. They should learn how to use barrage correctly first. Jack accidentally added the word not to survive. Hunters can use a grip. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, have you guys seen that um, September? is happening again, but it's a bit different. Um, highly recommend you take a squiz. There's a, um, let me grab the link. I highly recommend that you have a read past the asterisk. If you're not currently on a multi-month sub, I would definitely have a read beyond the asterisk. Um, hunters just need to learn how to hunt it correctly. I'm saying this as a hunter main. For sure, 50% of the time walking wipes it down to hunters barraging. Barrage is for solo running old content. I can has a grip now. <laughs> just switch, get it over with. 15 years break from WoW. 150 level 60 is impressive. I don't have that many. Oh my god. No, 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 no. I'm on my way there, but I don't have that many yet. I've got 15 currently. One five. Uh, if you, if you use the command that's in the title, um, that first command in the title, you'll get access to a spreadsheet. Um, that shows all my tunes and what levels they are and stuff. It's the it's the 50-60s challenge. I'm on my way there. Not quite there yet. September is happening again. God damn it. Year after year. When will it ever end? September. It's a pun. But no. Um, have a look at the discount on offer. Um, there is a... It's... Yeah. If you're someone who is like budgeting and stuff or would like to save some money you've got a very small window to be able to achieve that if you are currently subscribed uh, spreadsheets do oh yeah damn straight spreadsheets are love spreadsheets are life oh my god char sent me a mug the like a link to a mug um was it like last night i think it was last night um that it was like it, it had it was excel and it said freak in the sheets with the XL logo. And I'm like, excuse me. <laughs> uh, probably use a September deal. If you are currently subscribed, you can't. Read after the asterisk. If you are if you are on a monthly sub and you are upgrading to a multi-month sub, it the discount applies. But if you're already on a month multi-month sub, yeah, you gotta take a look. The best bit about September and, and the like the discounts and stuff is um that the discount doesn't affect the streamer's cut. The discount comes out of Twitch's cut. So any creators that you decide to support during September still get their full revenue. Let's go visit. Enjoy. Have fun. In September. Yeah, just, uh, yeah. 
Just, just, just the... But yeah, that's kicking off. Uh, what is it? Thursday? Yeah, kicking off Thursday. I wouldn't be here Thursday, obviously, but Friday! Friday will be here, first day of September. was released and I'm sad. Yeah, yeah if, if, you, like, if you're on a monthly and you upgrade to multi-month, then, like, you know, is that. But, um, yeah. Yeah. And it doesn't apply to gifted subs. It doesn't apply to gifted subs. Um, however, there's, um... There's a... Oh, does it not say? I guess it doesn't say. That's right, we'll, uh, we'll leave that then. Like that. But yeah, means, um, Fairy Mod Mother is going to be skating around again too. But I think that's US only. <laughs> oh look, it's fine, it's fine. I understand. Oh, bugger. Yeah, it's um... Mm. <laughs> you don't need to unfollow, god. <laughs> Hmm. No, no, you don't. See you. Yeah. Um. I have a feeling this is kind of going to be the way of September, like moving forward. Every single year, they have. More partners, more affiliates, more people who can sub and be subbed to. So I kind of feel like it's not like the very first September ever was a flat 50% discount on subs. And since then, the discounts have been getting like, and I think it's because there are just so many people. And of course, you know, Amazon trying to claw back some cash, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I think it's, um, fairly safe to say that, um, it'll, it, this is probably what it's going to look like in September from, um, from now-ish on. Don't need to, but we can. <laughs> I mean, you can, but then it'll reset your follow age. Do you want that? Sand, Meaty, Duran, Ducks, and McLoose. Congratulations to all of you on your ownership. Well done. Speaking of following, yes, Instagram, Instagram, follow the fear on Instagram. We're at 1,110 followers. One more and we get the magical 1111 that Seeker wanted. Um, wish I could do an annual sub. That would be nice. That would be nice. It'd be interesting to see, like... What kind of benefit would you get from being able to do that? More followers, only one or two fun people around the gift during September. Yeah, but gifted subs aren't discounted this year. This year, that's that was what we were saying. Like, it doesn't. They don't count. I mean, like they they count their subs, but they're not discounted this time round. Um, the discount is focused on multi-month subs, um, and a gifted multi-month isn't even discounted I don't believe it has to be like a, if if it's a gifted sub that's converting to a paid sub and they do a multi-month then I think that counts like and they'll get the the September discount but if it's just if you if somebody's gifting a sub to somebody else they won't the, the gifter won't get the discount um yeah there's a small handful of people who are not particularly happy about that and I I mean I understand why um uh, but, you know, it, it is 
is what it is. I guess that would be awesome. Ah, 11-11! 11-12, I missed it. <laughs> Thank you so much for the follows. Right, no, totally fine. Totally fine to see. It's yeah, it is different from prior years. This is this is not our usual September. It is it has been changed a bit this year. Hello, Smurf. Welcome on in. Hoping you're doing well. How can I serve? Yeah. Eleven eleven. Slipped it in time. Brilliant. We missed on eleven eleven. 11, 12, so sub. Hey, I can. Welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. The air was once rich with it. Like it was oh, dear. Oh, to see ya. Much appreciated. Thank you so much for the gifted subs. What is going on with the, Why, the sun? There we go. I'm like, where's the sound? Heck, the system, clearly. Clearly. <laughs> Thank I you for the gifted someone. subs. What can you do for Boom, me? indeed. Yeah, I should probably do that. And I also, I think, I did I see a hydrate before? The I find the mod. We did the emote only. I do have some hydrates. I should get some drink. I, the I don't have anything to drink near me. Oops. I'm so woefully unprepared. Fight well. <sighs> okay, a second. Ah, matey! By the sun well. Thank you so much for the reset. And oh my god, it's a year. Oh my god, 12 months. Holy cow. <gasps> Speak up, soldier. Oh my lord. By the sun well. Seriously? By the sun well. <laughs> Perfect. How do you serve the Margrave? I'm just sorry, I'm I'm like it's been a year. Time has has flown. Time has flown. Everything is negotiable. It's been a year too. Well technically, it's been 11 months because this is the start of your 12th month but that's still ridiculous that's still ridiculous far out it seems Deathbag needs some oh my goodness this is my first review the Monday after packs time she bought I um I actually knew that I knew it was close to PAX. I didn't know that it was exactly the Monday, but I knew it was close to PAX. Months and a week since sitting there unshake. So I keep forgetting! Ah! <laughs> Beautiful. Oh my goodness. Oh, we've got two and a half minutes to trigger a hype train. Oh, I just remembered. The thing that I was going to tell you yesterday, Sunday, that then I couldn't. Laza! Thank you so much for the biddies. Much appreciated. Hope you're doing well. It's around 24th October. Oh, so like end of October. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, so the thing I was all excited to tell you about on Sunday, yesterday, that then I was like, oh, actually, I can't tell you because some plans have changed. Friday. 
The date has been set. I am allowed to announce on Friday. Yep. <laughs> yep. I'm allowed to announce it on Friday. So, if you're ever, if you were ever going to be on time for a stream, Friday will be the one you want to be on time for. Because I have a feeling if I try to hold off on saying things, the people who are here at the start will um, kill me, basically. This Friday or around a Friday in the future. This Friday, the 2nd of September. 4 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Or thereabouts. This Friday. I want, I am, look, I want to tell you. Like, you have no, Nino, thank you for the biddies. Much appreciated, thank you so much. Trust me, I want to tell you. I want to go, tr trust me. Once you, once you know, you're gonna be like, oh right, yeah, no, damn straight she wanted to tell us. But I can't because contracts. So Friday, the 2nd of September, I'm allowed to tell you. Happy Monday, I'm doing well. I much need a week off from work. Oh, fantastic. I hope you enjoy your week off. Hope you get lots of rest and relaxation. Well done. Well done. I think after I get my two skulls, I think I might go grab a glass of water. Do those hydrates. <laughs> Wait, did I do the slash? I don't think I did, did I? Yeah, well, we played absolutely. Hey, Asub. Asub is good. Oh, hello. Doing well, thank you. Hope you can get some rest soon. We're just doing some some chill leveling today. Working towards my fifty sixties. Can you play Shadowlands only with sub? I think you can at the moment. There's a, um, I remember seeing a thing where you could claim a copy of Shadowlands for free. Let me just see if I can. Returned, oh, return to WoW and get Shadowlands free. So you might have had to not be playing. Don't know Shadowlands yet. Afterlife awaits your hero. From now until September 5th, you can claim your free copy of Shadowlands base edition along with a level 50 character boost through the Battle.net desktop app. Um, all Battle.net accounts that do not currently have the Shadowlands expansion. Um, um, that ha and that had any expansion license attached to the account in the past will receive Shadowlands base edition and the character boost free, no purchase necessary. Battle.net accounts without a previous expansion license attached on any of their WoW game accounts or which already have like Shadowlands on any of their game accounts are not eligible. So what that means is if you were playing previously and you were just playing like everything up to BFA as part of your sub, you can't get Shadowlands for free. You have to have purchased any of the expansions in the past, but as long as you've done that, you can get Shadowlands for free. To the base sub. Yeah, no, but there's a condition to it. They'll roll it into the base sub when Dragonflight launches, but this you can get it for free if there is there is a condition associated. How many you got to 16 now? 15. Only the 15th moment. You can only if you had not explained. Well, then you already knew that, Rainbow. Why did you need to ask me? <laughs> you already had the answer yourself. Look at you go. Well done. I hope you're having an awesome day, though, anyway. Welcome on in. Um, so people who don't have to buy Shadowlands to get ready for DF. No, they don't. But if they didn't have, if they never purchased any other, like if they've only ever played using the subs included in the, uh, using the X-Packs included in the sub, or if they only ever had a free account, like a trial account, 
then they'll still have to buy it. They can't get it for free. Mm. Hey, Gucciani, welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. Right, so Dead Eye's not up at the moment. Um, it won't it won't take too long to respawn, but while he's not up, I'm gonna go grab a drink. I'm gonna be back in a minute. BRB! The chair. Yeah, this is Chair. Uh, chair is the most supportive member of the community. <laughs> yes, follow on socials. Um, oh, I missed the free for all. That's okay. Alrighty, many thanks. Oh wow. Oh wow. Mm-hmm. So, tell you guys that I had, I, I was doing some looking into, uh, 
ways to make water more palatable because I just I don't have a, th a thirst reflex, so I need to want to drink it. It needs to be tasty. Um, and I found these little sachets on Amazon. It came from the US, unfortunately, because they don't seem to make them in Australia. But um, these little sachets called True Lemon and True Lime, and uh, little sachets of crystallized lemon and crystallized lime. No sugar added. No added anything. It's just literally like dried and, and powdered, essentially, citrus. And, um, I've just, like, this is the first time I'm using it, and it, apparently one sachet is, like, it, it imparts the flavor of one wedge. And holy balls, <laughs> that's lemon, and it's so tasty. Like, it's so good. It's, it's exactly like, you know, you imagine you get, like, a glass of water with, that has, like, a lemon wedge in it, and you, like, crush the hell out of it with the straw. Yeah, that's what it's like. Really, really good. I've been trying to find those. I found them. Do you have crystal white in Oz? I don't know what that is. No. Um, reminded me of a bunch of giggly eyes and thick grocery stuff. Ah, oh, adorable. Oh, that's so cute. Made a bunch of people's days. Yes, absolutely. All right, let me find them for you, Kay. Give me uh, just a second. Not sure if you heard, but I have an uh, affiliate code for affiliate link. Sorry for um, Amazon cool. these days, so that'll. Get a plan. Oh, um, where? This one. So, clear. Drinks, 10 cows, nothing else is assuming. Ah, these are no cows. Zero calories. Um, heavens, you don't have a sachet left. Yeah, no, no dehydration. Uh, no, 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 I, I die. Yeah, no life. Um, so that's an affiliate link. But that's what I've got. And they're really, really tasty. It's literally just lemon. Or lime, as the case may be, but it's no, no, nothing else, no sugar, no, no flavorings. It's just genuinely lemon, and that's it. Ta and like on the box, it says that you can use them for like, you can use it as like a lemon juice replacement and stuff like that. And holy cow, I believe him. That's like full on. And the, the, like, because you, you can't always carry around a little box of lemon wedges in your bag or something, and they go bad. These don't because it's dehydrated, like it's dried. So yeah. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Given how much of a punch that packs in a glass, I reckon I'd only need to put one sachet in a whole glass bottle. I think I might give that a crack tomorrow and see, see how I go. Let me try the lime one as well. You don't carry lemon wedges? No. I, I can't, like, pfft. I know, how silly am I? Is there a tang in the orange flavor crystals we had in the 80s in Australia? Yeah. Because, yeah, there are a couple of, like, I looked into the cordials and things like that, but I just, this so, kind of felt like it was the easiest solution. And, I mean, it's it's not exactly dirt cheap, but it's, considering you're getting, like, 200 sachets, it seems like it's fairly reasonably priced to me. Bubble tea! Yeah, that'll be later. We'll have we'll have that later. Oh, should we come up with them in the cut over the ones without eyes? That's beautiful. I love that. And, yeah, I just had to actually take the chance to use sachet left in actual Ah! I <laughs> got you! I- and I missed it! It completely went over my head. Wonderful. Okay, whole lemons around daily. Weird. I know, right? I know. I am weird. Sure, I'll go. Sounds tasty. It is! I have- like, this is just the lemon one. I haven't tried the lime one yet. But now I'm really keen to- Oh! Oh wow, yeah, that's um... Oh yes. Uh, so bottled water out of the overseas and the best things we can get in care packages, any kind of drink mix. That's awesome. Hmm. 
Like I, I swear this little bit here is the worst part of Magic Access. I just But it also feels like it's at roughly the halfway point. So that's okay. Stop panicking about how to win. Halfway through another week just since the stream started. Yeah. You you're blitzing it, Midi. You're blitzing it. If I mix them in a canteen, they're hard to clean. Chances are we'll get multi good to be hiking something in the canteen on you. I am. Um, um, hiking doesn't really agree with me considering I have arthritis in one of my knees. Um, so I, I try not to, like. I try to make sure I've always got a way out that doesn't involve having to walk just in case something goes a bit funny. Because, like, obviously, like, overuse can be bad. But also, if I do, like, one slightly wrong step and I slip a bit. It can just throw everything off, and then it it do, it does. It's not necessarily that it hurts. It's more that it just feels wrong, and then it feels like walking on it while it feels like that is going to do some damage later, kind of thing. So I don't tend to do that. But what I do have, I've got um like just your regular like water bottles, like the straight up sort of ones, and I've got a bottle brush. Um, it's designed for baby bottles, but uh, so you know it's designed for having stuff in them that isn't water, and um it it. Like, it's narrower at the top, but then when it comes down, it has, it, it's a, like, it's the wire thing that has, it's in a big long loop full of bristles, but the bottom of it is kicked up at a 90 degree angle and you can bend it and move it. So what you can do is pop it into, like you, like you have to kind of put it in sideways, like you pop the, the, the shot, the elbow into the bottle and then pop it in that way and then put it down. But having it at that angle gets you to, you can scrub all the little nooks and crannies and stuff. Um, I've got a couple of metal bottle, like metal water bottles or whatever, um, that I pop all sorts of other stuff in, uh, and I can always clean it out really, really easily with that. It's a fantastic little tool. Hello, Squirly. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. This is a beautiful Frank Green water bottle had tea, and it always tastes a little like tea. Oh, dear. Got sure corrections here. Oh, no. Try to avoid anything that involves me running or walking long distances. Yeah, I, I feel you. I feel ya. Um, yeah, I can do, like, you know the, the like, ellipticals uh, in the gym? I can do those really, really well, but I think it's because when I'm, when I'm, like, pushing down and stuff, I'm actually pushing, so it's a lot of thigh and not just, like, body weight kind of thing. Like, it's actually a, a force of pushing through and stuff. But, yeah, look, it's... And that you can also get straight off and leave or sit down or whatever. <laughs> Um, you don't have to, there, there's there's an escape route that doesn't involve you using your your knee or your shin or whatever happens to be. Um, but yeah, it's a bit of a, it's a bit of an awkward one, hey. I do love walking, like I'll, I'll walk almost anywhere, uh, but there's always, uh, there's always an exit route, an exit strategy. Like if I'm going walking through Brisbane City and stuff like that, if I'm planning on walking home, because I'm fairly close to Brisbane City, um, if I'm planning on walking home, there are there's public transport. So if I'm if I'm getting there and I'm like, oh, actually, I'm starting to feel a little bit weird, I can stop at the next public transport stop and and catch the bus the rest of the way, sort of thing. But yeah, I've always always got an exit route. I feel like we've discussed this broader rush. We have. We have. It was uh, it was on my throne wish list and it was gifted to me so generously. I mean, I was overseas, often video call with him a few of his unit, nearly all didn't have a family to call. One was very much, do you want drink with your sugar? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that sounds roughly like me. Um, but look, I'm trying to, I'm trying to be better. Um. This makes it a strategy. Yeah, wait for somebody to come save you. Yep. Yeah, you can't package it. It's just sugar packets. Amazing. Oh, that's so good. Look, you gotta get your energy somewhere, right?
There we go. That we get. <clears throat> We're all sweet for the way. <sighs> Making a requisition. I'm so I'm so sad that the last tune finished Maldraxxus like less than a like you couldn't even see it was like two pixels away from 57 means i don't get credit for that level it's all right it's fine it's fine it means that later i'm gonna get a boost maybe that little maybe that little surge of percentage will come when i'm when i need it you look oddly hale today Another tune to 40! Oh, well done, Shiva! Look at you go! You are absolutely smashing it. This thing I ever got overseas was a container of home baked chocolate chip cookies. Got a whole story involved with it. Too long to tell here. It was one of the best and most thoughtful gifts I ever got. Aw, that's so lovely, Soup. That's fantastic. I'm so glad you had that experience. It's lovely. Uh, did you turn in the Threads quest? Yeah. Yep, I was back in Oribos, and that's when I noticed that I was like. Tiny. Ah, uh, they're bringing back the XP buff. Hi, Riles. Welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. No one knows. Um, Blizzard might know. You might want to ask them directly, but um, I don't think they'll tell you until they're ready to. But no, we we don't know. Um, they might. They might not. We. You know as much as we do at this point. If they haven't announced anything, then nobody knows. May I tempt you with my wares? Have you been keeping up with your wish? Um, seven alliance left to reach for you, so they can start bunching them up to 50. Brilliant! Oh, look at that! That's awesome. Nice to hear though, isn't it? It's beautiful. Oh, I'm glad. Oh, thank goodness, Riles. I was, for for a second there, I'm like, okay, so either, either Riles is going to be like, okay, yeah, sure. Or they're going to get real pissed with me because I can't give them an answer. Because it's the internet and everyone's in extremes. I love that you found it funny. That... Ah, oh, load off. Wonderful. <laughs> but look, I, I really hope they do, though. Um, I would love that. So, um, there's what I can... Oh, look, I wouldn't necessarily call it confirm, but what I'm what I'm operating on the assumption of um, is the uh, anniversary. The anniversary event. Oh, can't, I can't do that while in combat. Give me a moment. Wait, why is it in blue? Do Eret does Eretex come up in blue if you're Alliance? Why? It's still bad. Why is... I'm not in... Oh, I am in combat. Go. There we go. Um, so... This. The, bal the balloons. Where our WoW's 18th anniversary. So it kicks off on the 29th. Um, wait a second. No, it doesn't. Wait, what? Oh, it's a three-week event, isn't it? The anniversary is always a three-week event. I was just losing my mind. Like, did they move it? Did they move it? Is this an indication? Is it? But it's not. It's um, it's fine. It's a three-week. They just it doesn't have the balloons up here, which is really freaking weird because they usually do. But yeah, so the 18th anniversary kicks off on the 15th of November, uh, and because it's the 18th anniversary, history dictates that we should receive a package in the mail, like a celebration package. And in there, you get a token that you can activate, which gives you a buff that gives you 18% extra XP. I know it's not 50, it's not the Winds of Wisdom, but it's something. So you can, I, I think it's probably safe to assume that that's, that that will happen. Um, but with regards to Winds of Wisdom, like a big juicy 50% buff, I, I couldn't tell you that much, unfortunately. Um, Historically speaking, pre-patches for expansions have been pretty good for leveling. Like, there's something that enables you to level things easier, but we don't know what form that will take. Like, it might not be an experience buff. It might be some kind of activity you can do that just spews out XP at a ridiculous event, rather than a uh, ridiculous rate. Sorry, rather than an actual buff. Uh, we just we just don't know. Usually, there's a, a nice XP boost of some kind. And then, of course, we've got the um, the anniversary coming up. But yeah, that's kind of 
the extent of the information we have at this point, unfortunately. Um, Miantos, Meaty, Heg, and Neke, congratulations to all of you on your ownership. Well done. Well done. Uh, I believe the most we know is that they're looking into something. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely, only blues. Do you know these things? Also think that when so many people got Keystone Master in week two of season four, they need to do something to pe keep people engaged. Look, pre-patch in and of itself will get people re-engaged. Like, even if there's not a buff, there'll be a quest line, there'll be there'll be stuff to do. People who have pre-ordered Dragonflight will likely have access to evokers during the pre-patch, so they'll be playing that new class and stuff. Like, there's, they don't need to add an XP buff to bring people back for the pre-patch. There's enough other content to usually to do that by itself. Um, but never say never. Never say never. Legion invasions, yeah, to cover characters through those invasions, just to collect the transmogs, yes. Yep. It's always a good idea to jump on and check what's there in terms of collectibles. Um, yeah. Shadowlands had, like, a pet and stuff, I think. And there was a, there was a small set of transmogs. I don't think I bothered getting all of those. Um, but there were... Yeah. Very good point. Keys to a hero, yep. Yep. Ah, oh, dearie me. Okay. Seriously, I've done way too many keys yet again. Yeah, I've, I've still not done any. I've still not done any. I should probably do them. I'd like them out. Right, okay. This way, my hunter is getting some stupid levels of DPS now. Whoa, that's awesome. That's a good thing, right? As long as remember to misdirect! Yes, yes, very true. Very true. Right, okay, Josh. I've told you all right, I've told you already not to greet me with um, pet names and, and stuff like that. Like, I, you and you acknowledged it. Um, so, I'm, this is, this is your second warning. Don't, don't, yeah? I'm, I'm not okay with that. And I've already told you that I'm not okay with that. I've got, like, moderation comments there noting that I've told you that, don't. Like, it's not okay. Yeah, we, we have moderation tools that let us kind of leave notes for each other and ourselves and stuff. Um, so you can't just disappear for a while and come back thinking we will have forgotten that it was you who was being creepy. We've had this discussion. I don't want to have it again. You should probably retrain your instinct to not call strangers sweetie and cutie and shit like that. It's inappropriate. It's, it's just, it's inappropriate. It's not ever okay. That kind of shit is only to be used with consent, and you don't have consent of strangers, ever. So just don't. It shouldn't be automatic. That is a, that is an instinct or an automation that you need to retrain in yourself, because it's not okay. You use those kind of names with people who you have built a rapport with,
not with random people, not with strangers. It's it's inappropriate. Uh, so what's new? It's been a while. How's the weekend? Yeah, weekend wasn't too bad. Busy, but you know, as as it always is these days, just working hard. Um, yeah, it's just lots and lots of the same. Good. It's great. Having fun. How about yourself, Squirrelly? No, Josh. People might appreciate it, but you need to check with them first. For you, I it's not okay to just assume people will be okay with it and that they'll correct you if they're not. Because by that point, you've already made them uncomfortable and they're already going to have their guard up with you and they're already going to dislike you. It's not just me. You do not use those kind of names with strangers. It is inappropriate. It is not socially acceptable. It is wrong. Don't do it. Don't argue with me. <laughs> like... Do your best. You said that last time. My thirst for combat. A lot of people, particularly feminine people, do not appreciate it at all. They go along with it out of politeness, but it is not okay. Yep, that's it. You would make quite and you saying, I know that you're not okay with it, but I'm going to keep doing it with other people is not a good thing. Like, that's not okay. Yeah, absolutely, Jack. A lot of people go along with it out of fear. Because if we speak up, if we say to somebody, I don't like that, we don't know how they're going to respond. They might go, okay, no worries, and move on. Or they might, it's a fucking compliment. You should just learn to take a compliment, you stupid bitch, and then get all up in your face and get violent. And it's unsafe. You're putting yourself in an unsafe situation. It's not okay. Don't force people to have to make that choice. Like, just don't, don't do it. Very easy. Yeah, get fucked. Goodbye. When you're having... When, when you have one, two, three, four, five fucking people saying the same thing, I'm not speaking for everybody. You are being inappropriate. And we are telling you you are being inappropriate. And you are fighting back and telling us that you're not. Enjoy your ban. Goodbye. Six. Thank you, Jackie. Hello. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> Welcome back. Um, oh, I don't. I definitely don't feel stuck, Squirly. I'm. I'm like. I'm. I'm getting on doing kind of similar stuff as I'm usually doing, but it's because I'm enjoying it. Occasionally something new will pop up and it's it's pretty awesome and fantastic, but for the most part I'm I'm on the grind of, of trying to work towards full-time content creator. And uh and it's working and so I'm gonna keep doing it. <laughs> uh literally pay attention to what women are saying online too. Literally so many people have come forward saying that kind of language is gross and unwanted. Yep, absolutely. Hmm. Give me just a second. Yeah, look, when, when a person from a group of people that you do not belong to tells you that what you are doing is problematic, you should at least listen and not immediately go, well, that's just them. No, maybe listen, you know? Talking to others from that same group may also help you kind of clarify if you should adjust your behavior. But you don't test that out by going in and, and saying to other strangers who are female, for example, and, and calling them pet names. It's the kind of thing where you'd go, you know, you might you might talk to someone who you're close to in, in your in your inner circle or whatever, who is part of the group that you are not a part of, in this case female, and and saying to them, Hey, when a stranger calls you a pet name, how does like is is that okay? How does that make you feel? What 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 goes on there? Um, and that way you're not going to get a fear response because firstly, you're not using the thing that's causing fear potentially. 
you're not putting them in an uncomfortable situation. You're asking someone who you already share a rapport with, who you can trust to potentially tell you how they actually feel without fear of reprisal, what, like, what they feel, what they think. It's a great opportunity for, you know, self-growth and improvement and learning. Or, you know, being a dick. so many people from the bar this week there's uh there's something in the air really there's there's something going on i think we've um look, we've had we've had a couple days <laughs> we've we've had a couple days ah oh, dear ah uh, got you back and doing well how about you yeah not too bad not too bad at all just kind of getting on with it as best i can i guess if you enjoyed Hell Yeah, damn straight. Never been big on calling people nicknames unless they tell me that's what they go by. Never called anyone hun or sweetheart. I have. I've used those kinds of pet names with people who I have built a rapport with. Um, you know, people who, who like, you know, we've, we've been uh, friends or, or colleagues for years or something like that. And it kind of, you know, one day it'll slip out from one of us and we'll kind of go, wait, is, is that okay? And it's like, yeah, sure. And then it's, you know, it's a mutual thing. We call each other those things, but it's not, yeah, not, not fucking strangers. Like, <laughs> good Lord, no. I don't want to give a random person a sense that they are close enough to me that I will use that kind of name with them. Good Lord. Who argue the point like that are the ones to worry about. Yep. Which is why they're banned. Names are for pets, not strangers on the internet. Usually comes from parental training too. It's rare. I've seen a few redeem themselves from this. Takes an open heart, the ability to know you can be wrong, not defending. Just understanding. Yeah, absolutely. Well, this is this is why they weren't immediately banned. Like, there have been a few people who have come in and, and just said stuff straight off the bat where I'm like, nope, I'm not comfortable with that. That was like, you know, the third or fourth time that that person had been here and I've warned them before. And in the past, they've kind of just said, oh, my bad, and kind of moved on, so it's fine. But this time, the fact that it had been multiple occasions, and the fact that they were now fighting me on it, like, no, don't, don't fight me on how comfortable I am. That's, no, piss off. Yeah, jeez, felt that, yep. Yep. It's just, every so often, Every so often you get a wave. See, this has been a time. Yeah, so I have to explain this to you. It's like, and thanks for being honest and so open about it. Definitely eye opening to a guy to hear from your perspective. Oh, for sure. You, you're so welcome. Um, like, there are, there are times, like, there are absolutely times and places where, you know, compliments and, and pet names and, and all that kind of stuff work quite well with a random stranger on the internet, especially as, like, your opening line is, is not the time or the place. Definitely, definitely not. Um, definitely not. So yeah, that's that's when the band hammer comes out. Um, doesn't happen often. We we tend not to ban here, but that person had already had three timeouts or something. So look, or deleted comments, maybe not timeouts. I think it might have been just deleted comments. But yeah. Uh, good. So I use possum or pos after there's an established report. Exactly, and that's again. Again with the, you have a... <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, I just... They DM'd me. Their defense was, I have sisters I use these words with. We're all just Good for you. 
I'm not your fucking sister. I am a stranger. Here is a good, here is a great point to tell people, right? Okay, here's, here's the deal. Just because you have one friend who, who, you know, you back and forth, you call each other a bitch or you call each other sluts or, or you call each other, you know, names and stuff like that in, in any other, in any other context would be derogatory, right? But you use them affectionately with each other because it's a mutually agreed upon term that you will use to call each other that. Does that mean you would go around calling random people a bitch or a slut? No, it does not. Same goes for things that you may see as positive words. It's the exact same thing. It is still a pet name. It is still something only to be used with someone who you have built rapport with, who you have a mutual understanding. Both of you are happy for the words to be used. Don't be gross. Don't be a creep. Don't be gross. It's real simple. Um, only people who can be hard and sweet on my friends and little old grandmas. <laughs> Definitely a term of a demon I use. Absolutely stop if anyone made any comment of discomfort. I've always felt privileged and honored being raised by a single mom cosmetologist in a woman's world. Your heart's matter more than everything. Uh, is fear our sister? Spoiler, no. No. Definitely not. Good God. Look, I don't, I don't usually, like once, once something is done, I don't usually acknowledge it beyond that point because it's giving people the attention that they're wanting and all that kind of, like I, I, you know, I don't usually do that, but I feel like this is an important enough topic to, to attend to. Um, so I, I do apologize. I don't usually let a comment like that take over the vibe of the stream for a bit. Usually it's just, a, okay, bye. And that's done. But this is, yeah, it, it is really important to know. And to it's, it's something that can be applied to so many areas of life as well. So just keep it in mind. Also, if you've been banned from a stream, don't don't DM the streamer. They've banned you for a reason. They don't they don't want follow up. They, they don't need closure. Like just what have you got to take say? the L and move on. Or take the W if that was what you were aiming to do. Just just move on. Um right. Where are we at? Oh, 56. Did I update the thing? No. Numlock is on. <laughs> 65, 64. Uh, that is not another day worth of progress yet. <clears throat> oh. I feel like at the same time, I'm making good progress, but it's also just going so slowly. It's an really important thing to talk about. Maybe there are people working right now reconsidering their own verbiage. Yeah, potentially, potentially. Um, and that's, you know, one of the reasons why it's important to talk about is, it, you know, seeing it from other people's perspectives and stuff like that as well. Consent applies to so much more than sex. It's just that simple. The, the term consent is not sexual. Just don't let it ruin Oh, no, 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 definitely not ruining my day. I'm not sure, like, honestly, after some of the stuff that's been happening lately in like the last week or so, I'm not sure anything could ruin my day, genuinely. <laughs> I am, I'm tired and, and like, I, I'm working in the office tomorrow, which is gonna be full on, it's gonna drain me, like, I, I love my day job. I love the people that I work with. I love the work that I do. I love what my work contributes to. Like, you know how, you know, you do your job, but it contributes to the bigger picture of the work, the job, the, the, the company you work for kind of thing. So I love what my company does. I love what I do. Love my coworkers, love all that, right? But going out of the house and being around people all day is more exhausting than I ever remembered it being prior to, like, it makes sense why I was, why I was always asleep. Like why I was always just wrecked is it it's it's amazingly draining. This kind of like I'm an extrovert, right? I'm uh Ian E N F fuck, it's in my it's in my Twitter bio, I think. Um what did I get rid of that? I think I'm an ENFJ? Yeah, ENFJ, right? So I, I am I am an extrovert. But I have I have in like I have an extrovert battery and I am there and I am interacting and I am talking to people and I'm having a time and then my batteries run out and I'm gonna go home now or alternatively, I'm gonna turn off the stream now. Yeah, good. So like, 
This is why I love this, because I'm like, extrovert, I'm the center of attention. Also, I'm gonna go now, bye. So, uh, <laughs> streaming is perfect. Anyway, so I will be drained as hell tomorrow, uh, but I am just, I am doing so well. So well. I, I made mention, of, a brief mention to my, uh, in, in my mods, like my mod chat about a couple of things that uh, have, have popped up on my radar. Information that I have gleaned recently. And I'm just... I, I, re I feel like, I legitimately feel like if I was not an insomniac, if I could get decent sleep every night, like so many people in the population do, Oh, buddy, I would be unstoppable. Unstoppable. But I am an insomniac, and so I'm not there yet. But that's fine. We're getting there. We're getting there. Ah, uh, banning people should put them on the ignore list. I'm oh, they're like when you report them, you can block them. Um, but banning people doesn't necessarily block them as well. Usually, it doesn't. It doesn't. It's not an issue. Because usually once people are banned, they, they recognize that they're banned and they, they don't bother. Um, but occasionally you try to get someone who needs to try to get that last word in to try to justify that last comment that they made before they, like, you know, that I didn't respond to when they, when, you know, the ban hammer was swung or whatever. And I just don't care. I, like when I, when, when we have banned you, I have made the decision. I mean, it wasn't even me who did it, but like the mods. I trust my mods for a reason. Um, once the ban hammer has been swung, that's the decision made. I no longer want to interact with you. If I was okay with interacting with you and I just didn't want to talk to you right now, I'd just ignore the messages. Like, I can skip over them or I can give one word answers or I can, you know, that kind of stuff. But like, if I have, if, if you have been banned, it means I no longer want to interact with you ever. So why, like, don't. <laughs> just, just, it's not gonna work. The only, like, I didn't even, like, read the message properly. All I saw was, I have sisters that I call, and I'm like, oh, honey, no. So I just blocked and blocking deletes the message, so fantastic. Uh, I called my bestie Kelsey a pet name on Saturday because I knew she would laugh. Hey, doing honey bunches of goats as my was worth as I was thug. And they go, rapport. It's your bestie. I call Jas fuckhead all the time. Like, we have rapport. <laughs> but I mean, he also just kind of looks at me and calls me you quite frequently. So it's, yeah, it's... I'm um, the really annoying, well it annoys me, cosmic energy quest in ZM. Oh, I don't remember that one. I Look, I've only really done the quest in ZM like once. Um, I, I've unlocked it on a couple of tunes, but I haven't actually done anything, so I do not remember them. I'm sorry, but I hope that it's over quickly for you. Uh, for ads, yep, it's a 90 second block. So depending on where you live and what kind of ads are available to be shown to you at the moment. Um, you could get nine 10 second ads, or you could get four ads, you could get three 30 second ads. There's, there's a whole bunch of different, uh bits and pieces that you could get, but it is it is done by um by time and not by number. Um and it's to keep pre-rolls turned off as well as earning me some income, obviously, especially with the ads incentive program that has started um it has increased my ad revenue by like three hundred percent. Like yeah, it's your offer is different each month, so it's not going to be that big every month, I don't think. But, like, it's... it's... chunky. Um, so it's helping me pay my bills, and it's also keeping pre-rolls off, so new people who are coming in, discovering us from the browse page or whatever, don't get hit with an ad right off the bat. Um, which helps with viewer retainment. Fun fact. The data shows... Yeah, people are more likely to bounce during a pre-roll than they are during a mid. Um, but yeah, so thank you for, for putting up with the ads. Oh, I've just got consent with the squid since with the squid since I dot. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, like the fear anger was something I hadn't really considered as a guy when I was younger. Now I kind of keep realizing situations where I feel safe, where someone else just would be terrified. Yeah, yep. If I'm coming home, 
on public transport by myself. And it is after sundown. I have my keys in my hand the whole time. And I'm, I'm not trying to say that like as a woe is me or anything like that. I'm just I'm just trying to put it into perspective. I live quite close to a like a city center where it is very well lit. There are quite a few people around. There's like there's a few hours like in the dead of night where there's not many people around, but for the most part there are usually people around the place. And I if I am by myself, I have my keys in my hand because they're pretty much the only thing that I have that could be used decently as a weapon. And even then, you gotta put them between your fingers and punch real hard to, make, to do some damage. And aim for specific squishy spots. But like, yeah, it's, that's the reality. And I, I've done that ever since I was old enough to be out by myself after sundown. Still. Ever since I was old enough to have keys to my home. I have carried them in my hand. You're a paladin. I'm not, I'm a shaman! My god, jeez, extra energy is so hard to keep up. Look, I'm, I feel like I'm... I can't remember exactly where I was on the whole, like, what to do, but... But I feel like I'm, like, just onto the side of extrovert. But, um, yeah. It's- it's a thing. It's a thing. No for our safety. Reported and blocked. Yep. Yep, would need an on-off switch for your brain to pull that off. I feel you there. Lots of trouble sleeping, like, tonight. Yeah, exactly right. I'm gonna be dragging later. Yeah. I, I just, like, I feel like if... If I was- if I was well-rested... Look at- look at how much I have fucking accomplished! Through Insomnia! What if I did- what if I had actual energy? What if I was well rested? Good lord. Good lord. <laughs> everyone calls me shivers. So everyone calls me manhole. That's cute. One down the whole boys. Do I know you? Uh, everyone assumes a shiver dog has learned how to computer. So I am. Didn't think that was an assumption, just a true. I don't mind the ads, it's your income, sit through- Aw, oh, thank you, Super, I appreciate it. Yeah, it's a- look, it's a bit of a thing. Like, it is what it is kind of thing, but, um, yeah. Um, hello Mel, doing well? I hope you can do the- I hope you're doing the same. Um, welcome back. Let's see this time you get up and get a drink or a snack. Yes, stretch your legs. Grab yourself a refill of whatever you've got. For sure, great plan, great plan. Knuckle keys, hells yeah. I mean, it, it, yeah, <laughs> but it's a problem, isn't it? Like, that's... I would love... I would love, when I'm a bit older, to, to live in a world where our, where our daughters don't feel like that's a thing they need to do. I, I, f I, I would love to live in a world where people don't feel the need to protect themselves. Um, but I, unfortunately... I know that that's just kind of... There are always going to be bad people. There are always going to be bad people out there. Um, it's just a matter of, like, you know... Bad in what way and all that kind of stuff. But also recognising that it's not... Um, it, it's not this rare occurrence. It's super common. There was a, a an art exhibition that I stumbled upon on Reddit um, a couple months back. Uh, it was an article about the art exhibition, um, and the exhibition was called "What We Wearing." And um, it was the, uh, like they'd had a couple of iterations of this exhibition, and people had like when they had visited if they had had an experience themselves, they could write it down anonymously to be used in future iterations of the exhibit. And all the clothing 
that was shown was donated by university students because it was often it was like the exhibition was at a university and so students from that university had donated the clothing and the clothing it would have a story about what had happened to a person and they described what they were wearing at the time and next to it was a, a representation was was a hanger a clothes hanger holding the outfit that they had described in their story and oh boy it makes you all sorts of devastated and just fucking furious all at the same time. Because you've got stuff from, you know, like a little black dress to a sports uniform to swimwear uh, to a five-year-old sundress. And it just breaks your heart. And this is the world we live in, where someone can talk about being assaulted and they're asked, what were you wearing? just disgusting that's like we may never be able to change that horrible people exist but we can change how we approach the horrible stuff if if it happens when it happens anyway good vibes we can change it and we will we will leave this world better than what we found it if we can help it so glad my bus stopped coming home from town is right outside my flat for sure, still get very anxious in the dark, do the same with keys between my fingers, always, yep. Wrong with being aware of your surroundings. No, nothing wrong with it at all, but there is something wrong with the fact that we feel like we need to do that to even feel some semblance of safety. Like, it's just, yeah, not great. Something wrong with the fact we have to, yeah. I'm a guy at a military training who also do the keys and hand trick if I happen to be out late anyway. Good way to mess someone up if they decide to try anything. Yeah. Uh, I'm saying you weren't saying that, of course. I find it strange that I was more comfortable walking around Woodgreen in London after midnight alone than I do walking around at the same time in Sheffield. I don't know really anything about the difference between those two places, um, but it is it is really interesting how like your location can so, like can so deeply affect like yeah it's it is really interesting. Um, a clue during tour ducks demon ompric uh, cat heg and zit. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. Good job. Alrighty. Imagine being well rested. I know, I can't. <sighs> Anyone trying to try for the Batman in Revendreth? Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Jazareth! <laughs> Jazz, I can't, I can't show you this because it's got, I do, uh, actually. No, I can't. Um, Jas is making dinner. I can smell it. It smells amazing. Jas is making dinner, and um, he's he's. He, I say I get a message from him that just says calculated, and I'm like, what? And it's a picture. He's got all of the all of the ingredients for the dinner in a pot, and there's about a centimeter gap at the top of the pot all the way around. It just fits. As soon as it starts bubbling, he's gonna have one hell of a stovetop to wipe down, let me tell you. But that's not my problem. <laughs> I mean, it is my problem, but right now it's not my problem. Ah, uh, so far than open manhole drunk. My drummer's birthday, the nickname grew out of my control, I ripped my jinko juice. Oh no. Oh no, Jerry cook air fried chicken, oh my God, yes. The air fryer is just so good. It's the best with like tempura chicken nuggets. Oh my lord. And thank you. Fantastic to hear Mel. Fantastic. Ding number 22. Ah, oh, well done, Yori. Congrats. Congrats. Not a rare occurrence. SBS, you're all magnificent rare occurrences. Remember seeing posts about that too. Lots of military uniforms as well. Yep. The whole thing. Like, I mean, it's. So. Art is meant to make you feel emotion. It doesn't specify what emotion, but art is meant to make you feel. And that exhibition is nothing if not art. Um, art can be born of trauma, can be born of suffering. It can make you think, it can make you feel, it can change your mind. It can do all sorts of magical, magnificent things. I need to actually use my goddamn orb. Um, but that, that exhibit, like, yeah, I, I would, I would love to see it travel around the world. 
I would not love to see it added to around all, like, that That would obviously, like, you know, you don't want that to have happened to people, but I, like, yeah. yeah. Sometimes you just need something to hit you where it hurts to kind of, yeah. Message calculated. <laughs> Sounds like a take that didn't use defensive because they just had enough health for that ball. Oh, you mean Jazz? Yeah. <laughs> you, you mean, yeah. Look. Actually, I wonder if I can show you. Hang on. It's it's when art art imitates life. So much ass weight cancel. Like good job, Jack. Yeah, it's like I can't be angry, but I feel like I want to be. Put a photo in food. Brilliant. Mr. Very wet hands clean that mess up. Yep, basically. All right, let me. Can you see? Stir with care. Cal yeah, right? He's got it, and he's still got to stir it because otherwise it's going to burn to the bottom. And like. <sighs> I'm going to get out there, and the entire goddamn bench is going to be orange, and I'm just going to be like. <laughs> I saw food. Yeah, to see it. Um, Jas has put dinner in a pot to cook it, and it fits in one pot with about a, like less than a centimeter of space around the edge at the top. And his his caption was calculated. Bullshit. I suppose I spill everywhere. Careful with the stroke. Right? Thank you. Thank you. I do see a little tiny bit of bubbling, like around the edges and stuff. So I think it's probably already on a low simmer at the very least at that point. But um, yeah, look. I have feelings about this. Um, is, yeah. <laughs> Just put storing implement in and overflow. Yep, yeah, that's it. Looks really good. I just ate it now. I'm hungry again. Oh, so that is that is um what's the recipe called? It's text text something. Um it's from the CSIRO total well-being diet. Um What is it called? Tex Mex chili beef with broccoli. So that's the Tex Mex chili beef. And it's going to be served over, instead of like over rice or, or like pasta or something like that, it's going to be served over broccoli, like steamed broccoli. And it's really good because like the, all the bits of the broccoli, like the, the florets of broccoli, but like when it splits down into the individual little bits and pieces, it, it acts like a sponge. So it soaks up all that tomatoey goodness. Oh, it's so good. So, so tasty. Mm, hey you, fits equals fits. Yeah, but here's the problem. It's gonna it's gonna bubble and pop everywhere. Like it's gonna get little orange splatters everywhere. And I would put money on it that it will not be wiped up while it's still hot and wet and easy to wipe up. I bet you it'll be there for three or four days. When it's all dried down, you're gonna fucking scrub it off. I have to make a butter chicken in my stove and kitchen. It's just covered in orange light. I keep forgetting to grab the lid. Yes, amazing. Amazing, which makes me think of those cat memes. This is especially on something that is meant to be heated. Oh, that's already, that's already being heated. Like that's already, like there are, like when I had a look at the photo, there are like little bubbles around the edges and I can see some steam coming off it. Uh, it's harder to see in a photo and especially when it's like you're viewing the photo through a camera. Um, but you can definitely, actually, you know what, maybe I can download the photo and pop it in Discord. Um, if I fits, I sits. Don't sit in the Tex-Mex, sicker. We need to eat that. <laughs> you burn yourself. I mean, worse since I made honeycomb. Yeah, well, look. Um, same thing, how do you always do that? Sounds amazing, but it be nice and crusty. Could use those wet hands to wipe it. Yeah, but will he? I'm sleepy and hungry and I'm trying to get back to bed. Rest well, super. Um, keep in mind that if you've got the Twitch app on your phone, you can jump into the app and you can navigate to the stream and in the settings, you can put it to audio only mode. So it won't bring the, vi like it won't render the video. So it uses less data, but you can also lock your phone and pop earbuds in or whatever and like pass out that way. 
you can literally like fall asleep to stream if you wanted to like turn it down real low i promise i won't squeal too much um there's no mounts that are gonna drop so it should be fine um but yeah so if if you need kind of background noise to let your brain do its thing twitch has an audio only mode so i guess it will bubble over yep you think it would fit i mean it's a pretty big pot like Aww. Uh, I think I would maybe, no, I think I'd, I'd not quite fit. I think I'd not quite fit. Why is my phone storage still almost full? I deleted a ton of stuff. You're just not recognizing that I deleted a ton of stuff. That's what I thought. Wait, what? Why are you all still there? There we go. I did a like delete recent, you know, you know, you're like when you delete photos on your phone and it goes to recently deleted and doesn't actually delete them so that you can get them back later. It's like, no, I don't want them. Oh, I have I have nearly twenty gig of photos and videos on my phone. I I started doing some image dumps onto my laptop today, but clearly it was not enough. Thanks, of course. Appetite, you might. Uh, um. Hello, bizarre. Welcome on in. Hope you're doing well today. Into that sense in life. I mean, it's good to be able to get things, like, but I, ugh, I've just moved them to my laptop. So yeah, I just have to remember to go into recently deleted. 600 photos of Squid's feet every damned week. No, I, I have like, oh my God, since I started doing like the Instagram stuff properly and, and whatnot, I swear to God, 95% of my phone's album is selfies. And I feel like that says things about me that I don't want to be said about me. Like, I'm not, I'm not that person. Like, I just. Yeah, it is, it's mostly videos. Uh, little like two second videos that I like stitch together to make my, um, my, the stuff on, on Instagram and stuff. But like, oh boy, oh boy. I really should be getting ready for my shopping trip so much when the people to stitch. I need to be bored. I need to head out shopping. Make you join the stream later. Not a worry, Sen. We'll see you shortly. Uh, I've already got the mount from Little Flaming Baby, so I could drop by accident for closing. I think I do. I'm pretty sure that was one we farmed up fairly early in the expansion because there was a, a thing where it was dropping really, really often. Uh, and so we just went and did it kind of thing, I, I think. I could check if you know what, the, what it's called because I don't remember what the mount is called. So oh, what happened to that photo? Yeah. Nah, so like every every single thing these days in my in my um reel, like in my in my photo album, is either a selfie that's supposed to go on Instagram, a video of me putting on makeup, um, or a screenshot that I've needed to send to Jas while there's at work. But first, let me take a selfie. I, I hate with like I oh. I hate how much of a banger that song is. I hate it so much. <laughs> you can see messages through WhatsApp combined with the gallery. I have so many photos of a group of 15 year olds. <laughs> Callow flayed ring. Perfect. Thank you. I do. There you go. It's an really bad photos of my It's bad with everything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, every, like, every couple of weeks now, and it's it's increasing in, in like, so it tells me my phone's almost full. And at first it was, like, once a month it would tell me, and then it was, like, once every three weeks, and now it's getting to the point where it's almost each week. It's like, your phone's nearly full. Your phone's nearly full. Your phone's nearly full. And I'm like, oh. Er. Oh. Er. Okay. Um. My phone's also quite old. Which is why I've told you guys this, haven't I? We're doing um, a marathon next month. We're doing a, a fundraising marathon. Think, think like a subathon, 
except instead of subs extending the timer, it's donations to Throne, contributions to Throne to get a new phone. That's what we're doing in September. And it's three days long. I found myself a marathon timer that can be paused and then played the next day. So I'm not going to like harm myself doing this because I don't like, that's, that's like, that's where I draw the line is I never, I don't want to hurt myself. Um, like eating hot sauce, yeah, okay, it might hurt for a little while, but it's not going to actually cause damage. Uh, whereas streaming for 12 hours, three days running, we've, sh th this has been shown to be fine considering I did a lot more than that for Shadowlands launch. Um, so yeah, not a 72 hour, nope, 36. Um, I cannot, I'm not physically capable of doing that and I'm not willing to stream myself sleeping. I'm, I'm not comfortable with that. Um, so what we're going to do instead is three days of 12 hours. So it's going to start at a four hour stream on a Saturday morning. And with, via, via contributions to the throne crowdfunding for the new phone, um, it's going to add time to the clock and it'll max out at 36 hours. So it'll max out at 10 till 10 Saturday, 10 till 10 Sunday, 10 till 10 Monday. Yeah, it's going to be great. Incentives and all sorts of... Oh, what? Thank you so much for the contribution. Very generous of you to say thank you. Much appreciated. Um, story if you went to Iowa for the normal machine, it'll cost you a way out of circle and you blast on my best year. I thought that looks great on you. Eight new college students, charmed and smiling. They pulled out 20 and said, study hard. Not from here, have a drink on me. Start screaming with delight, we take a selfie and everything. Since the right hand buddy said that was epic. Love you, I can't remember the word. Wait, what? <laughs> that feels like a, um, a story pulled from Reddit or something. Interesting. Uh, let me add a gift I had to. I didn't... Did I s I don't think I saw it. Well, I hope you all enjoyed the gift because I don't think I saw it. Um, <laughs> my bad. Uh, but yeah, so, um, because like I name pest and cute things, it is uh, accidental screenshots. Yeah. Or like accidental up the nose selfies. It's yeah, that's yeah. yeah. Shoot on stream, aim stream, because potential X. Yeah, of course. Be right back. Not a worry, Seeker. Not a worry. Yeah, I thought I turned that kind of stuff off, but that's alright. I must have like I was fiddling around with a bunch of stuff to see if this marathon thing was something I was going to be able to do. Um, so. I know it doesn't display the gift a message. I know that much because I turned that off, but it. I wonder why. Ah, oh. okay, there you go. Right, that must be a new feature. Cool. I love that it was on by default. There's also a section here where I can allow you to pick a gif out of like, a, like you selected gifs only, so I can filter it so only ones that I would be happy to show up can, can show. But I feel like that's effort trying to find nice ones. <laughs> um, interesting, thank you for letting me know. I appreciate that. Yeah. 
Lingtron. All right, wonderful. Uh, that button first. Oh, goodness. Yeah, so we're gonna do ridiculous thing. Thirty six hours of streaming in three days. As long as the contributions are there to, to keep it going. Um and hopefully that will mean like if if we can like if we get there, if it's a success, it should mean that I'll have a new phone for Pax which will be massively helpful, uh, specifically because of the camera. Uh, it is also, the one that I've got on that wish list there is also, um, I believe it's larger in terms of storage size. Um, yeah, it's it's a 128 gig. The one I have at the moment is a 64 gig. Uh, so that means I'll be able to take so many little videos and photos and all that kind of stuff. Um, oh, and I've caught, like, I will, I will reiterate this like, if people see me at PAX and all that kind of stuff, I will absolutely reiterate this. But if you, like, if you are okay with being in, like, photos and stuff that I post on socials and whatnot, like, let me know. And if you're not okay, let me know as well. Because I, I don't want to, like, I know that some people don't put their faces out on the internet intentionally, and I don't want to violate that. Um, also, if you're okay being, like, maybe you're okay with taking a photo with me, but you don't want me to tag you, also totally fine. Like, do you know what I mean? It's, it's, um, yeah, I, I, I want to make sure people are comfortable. I'm not gonna, being near me does not mean you have to consent to being in photos on socials. Um, it may be safe to assume that anytime I lift up my phone to take a video or photo, that it'll probably end up somewhere on socials. Um, but I can absolutely make sure people aren't included in that if they don't want to. For the taste yeah, I know, right? It's a bit that way. Oh, here we go. It's loaded. All right. Where's... Wing-chan! Is it crystal time? I think it's crystal time. It is crystal time! I'm slowly starting to learn. There you go. You're done. You're good. It's fine. Everything's fine now.
Everything's fine. Yep. Totally fine. I'm almost done with another run of Maldraxxus, you guys. This is so exciting. Like, one by one, just crossing tunes off. So I mean, when that first started with Super Focus, don't fight. Yeah, it it does that. It does that. Um. <laughs> ah, it is a lot of fun though. The the blue voice effects are super cute. I did quite like the end of Maldraxxus. Once you get to the crystals and then onwards, it's just like... It's nice. Maybe it's because it signifies that I'm almost done. Can move on from Maldraxxus. I've not got long to go. You're looking at the spreadsheet, right? All goods and services. I'm ahead with leveling up to the 8th of September. Look at you go. Oh, well done, Yori. I'm so proud of you. So proud of you. Oh my god, there's an anonymous blobfish. That is the cutest thing, holy cow. How many of you have my spreadsheet bookmarked? Cause like I just see numbers like people popping up and I'm like there hasn't been a link what is what is going on soon TM that's it well this is this one's almost done this is the last bit and then there's what one two three four five six seven eight eight more after this I've tab open but I'm not the blobfish I'm guessing you saw it pop up That might be perfect. How 
How may I assist? Eight more. That's still like eight. Like, how many hours does it usually take me to get through Maldraxxus? Eight runs through is just, that's such a long time. May oh my I god. With my words? But, good things, right? If, if we're doing this, if we manage to get three 12 hour streams back to back to back in a in a fears phone fundraising marathon right 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 that's 36 hours of leveling i reckon we can catch up i'm gonna need it though because i'm gonna be taking a week down in goddamn melbourne for packs problem can't level from there so yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be a whole thing For you, I offer only the finest. Farathon, yes, go on. Well, no, it's like Fear's Phone Fund Marathon. It's not a Farathon. I can't, like... I was trying to think what can I, like, how can I make all of these Fs, and I, I can't. I've already changed phone to be spelt with an F, just for funsies. Phonathon. Yep. His friend fun Farathon. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh my goodness. Yeah, like marathons are gonna like I would love to do more marathons. I just I can't really at the moment because I need that time to do other stuff. But um I am, I'm looking forward to, I'm still obviously, you know, still pushing for full time and eventually we'll get there and it'll feel so good to be able to do that kind of stuff more often, I reckon. Yeah, it's out of place. I know, I, but what, what, what is a word, what is a, a synonym for marathon that starts with F? Is fantastic phone funathon. I hate you. <laughs> I hate you. Phone razor. <laughs> oh no. Like I could call it a phonathon, but I feel like people might think they get to call me, and that's not a thing. Um, Fundathon. <laughs> Sophia's phone Fundathon. Sophia's fantastic phone fundraiser. Okay, now, now you lot need to come up with a whole ass tweet promoting it. And all the words start with F. Fundaphonathon. <laughs> Fundraiser is right No, I know. But like, I, I don't, I'm wondering if the word fundraiser is protected. You know? Ocfria. I wish I there is something I really want to tell you right now and I can't. <laughs> F words this I can do brilliant. A whole tweet all starting with F promoting the 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 Funathon, the Fundathon. It's an I Fear fundraiser. <laughs> it's voting it in. This is the thing, it's um like 
fundraising in general, that particular word, I don't know if I'm allowed to use that. That's the problem. Mm. Fundraiser for fear. <laughs> Phonix. <laughs> oh shit, this is fun. Alright, who was that? Purple Heart. Goodbye, Purple Heart. You are leveled or you're done with Maldraxxus. Next up is a rogue. Good. That's charitable fundraising. Non-charity. I don't mind. Oh, thank you. Well, GoFundMe uses the word fundraiser. Um... But everything here is, um... All of it, none of this is Australian. In fact, the only Australian result on the front page of Google. No, I lie. There's two of them. No. Okay, so Cadbury chocolate fundraising, but that's we 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 know about that if you're an Aussie, you, you know. Um, is crowdfunding Australia help a friend or personal cause? And they very specifically don't like fund raising is not in their little blip at all, which is quite telling. Um, and then there's one called rafflelink.com.au, which is individual fundraising. But then it's talking charity fundraising is easy when using our online raffle platform fundraising tips and tools. So that's still charity. I'm not sure I'm I'm able to use the word fundraising. Uh, I think that, hmm. All the other personal fundraising results are like US based. I think it might be safer to just stay away from that word in general. I don't know whether I can or not, but um, yeah. Uh, fundraising. Yeah. Uh, Tub, Zam, Sandrock, Silver Molly, Meaty, and Asyk. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. Uh, a skin chest. It's a skin chest. Farewell, fucking failing phone. Fun for your fancier phone for full time. Fear's fantastically fun. Fun to phone. Fun, uh, fun, fantastically fun. Fun to phone a thon. Oh my lord. Yep. Great. Hang on. Let me. There's a couple of these I need to copy paste, I reckon. Um. Oh my god. Fun to fun. Fundraiser for failing phone. Fundraiser for failing phone. Fundraiser for failing phone. How's that? How are the captions going? I'm having fun. Um. Oh, 
dear lord, this is great. You guys rock. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. <laughs> this is gonna be good fun. I reckon I'll be wrecked by the end of it, but I think I'll have a lot of fun doing it. <laughs> it's the accent media, can't figure it out. Apparently your video now. Oh, that doesn't help when I'm talking with candy in my mouth either. Sees all. Something is balked in my ATT. There are two items showing is not collected, but they should be. Caught of the Harvester's Tabard. When I equip it, it doesn't change. And a plate item when I'm a plate wearer. Okay, so... Then tried the Orbit to cease all. I mean, look. Um, so, Zika, a reload will sometimes help. Um, Shift-clicking the thing to make it refresh can sometimes work. Um... Beyond that, try if I know. Look, I know it's a Discord, um, and I hate joining Discords for support purposes. It's annoying as hell. But um, you might be able to if you jump into their support. Uh, if you jump into their um, Discord, you might be able to search for like a particular word in like the the name of the items or something, and see if anyone has had a similar problem. <clears throat> Um, or you can, and then if you can't find it, you can post a screenshot. Uh, like, take a screen snip of ATT showing it's not collected, and then take a snip of the tooltip of the item as well. And make sure you take the tool, the screen snip of it while you're wearing it as well. Just to make it very, very clear that it is on your person. And let them know that you've done a reload, you've done the, like, shift click to refresh, da da da. And, um... Note that if it's still got a refund window on it... It won't count yet. I just thought I just remembered that bit. If it's got a refund window on it, it won't um it won't count. Mm, refresh collection. Yeah, shift click in the ATT window, yep. Yeah. It worked. Fantastic! Amazing. Yeah, sometimes it just has to kind of think. Maybe sometimes you gotta make it think. <laughs> um But yeah, it's uh Uh oh. Poisons. The humans? Oh, that's okay. Glad we got there. Percent, yeah. Point eight nine. Nice. Did you have num lock on? Bear in mind, covenant-based rep items won't carry over if you change covenant. Yeah. 
I did, yeah, I've done that so many times, Seeker. I'm like, I recognize that typing pattern. It me. <laughs> oh. How many orange splashes do we have all over the bench top? I just cleaned them up. Yay! Thank you! Would you like some candy? You need to go to Ray. Have fun, enjoy. Best of luck. I hope it goes swimmingly for you. Yay! Fruit and bubble tea. Baby, da, 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 da. 38% dead on here. I think I excluded PP. The real total is a bit lower. Where am I at at the moment? Are you, and what, um, is that one class, all classes? What are you looking at? Good job, Jess. Agreed. I'm so, oh, I'm so thankful. That's awesome. Mr. Wet Hands. Oh yeah, there's the wet. I was like, for a second, like, wait, is this cup dry? Sorry, it's only a little bit though. A lot, a lot drier than usual. If you took photo before cleaning up. Ah, probably not. That's okay though. Different percentage complete on different alt on ATT. Is this normal? Yes. Yes. Um, so it depends on what your settings look like, Mike. You might have some stuff like it won't check. It only has it there if it's available on that character. That kind of stuff so make sure you've got like account mode turned on um but i've got uh like my percentage is about the same on all two. the other thing is like refresh it a couple times like watch the number the number will change it's almost like it forgets that there are things that exist a bit and you gotta refresh a couple times to get it to get to the right number once it doesn't like mine just finished and it didn't change therefore i know that's the right number um but yeah just check that check all your settings because there might be something somewhere that um is different on your tune so it's showing different items therefore the percentage is different but that's 12 classes all the things but unique and i'm at um 51.06 with 1277 things until 52. um account on horde only no pvp um okay I'm, I'm obviously guessing that the both of the I know it's a silly question but I'm just gonna check anyway that both the alts you're talking about are horde um it may be that you have oh uh, no because it shouldn't track the pvp stuff you've already got if you don't have it I would definitely try doing the refresh thingy And just, just refresh it a bunch of, like, refresh it until the numbers don't change. Take a screenshot of that, then switch tunes, get onto that one, and refresh it till the numbers don't change. And if the numbers are different, um, then yeah, pop it in ATT. There, there will be something. Um, yeah, specific class stuff, but the thing is, if Mike's got it on account, or if it got it on account mode, it should show that class stuff on every tune anyway. Should. Uh, so we've got into the room. Do I need to keep all the treasure maps I've purchased in my bags? Should I be selling, getting rid of them? What? Which? What? Professions, race, flat point specific stuff set to non-account. Oh, so even if you tick account, there are still some things that only show up if you're on that particular character. That's interesting. Oh. If you've used it, it should be fine. I don't know. I don't remember. That's a while ago. Sorry. Um. The Saigon has brought you to me. I think it should be okay. If it's got like a use text and you've right clicked it and you've used it, and if you right click it again and it says you've already used that item or whatever, you then you should be okay to get rid of it. But I'm not sure. It's been a while. Worst case, like failing everything else. You can always check the wowhead comments for that item. Um, often, if it's an item that doesn't delete itself when you feel like it should, there'll be a comment there saying, feel free to delete this once you're done. Ability says as long as the map is in inventory. Ah, oh, so no, you can't delete it then. Because if it says, yeah, if it's as long as the map is in your inventory, then you need to keep it in your inventory. But if you've done with it, like if you've done everything you can do with it, then you should be able to get rid of it, yeah. Quick. 
hesitation, just don't know if it's still useful at this point. Ah, okay, gotcha. It's the treasures thing. Yeah, have you, have you, oh, have you got all the treasures? Check your ATT mini. See if you've got all the treasures from Stormheim. If there's no treasures left to get in Stormheim, then you should be good. Unless it's by an account. In which case, send it to another tune and check them too. Yeah, there are so many goddamn items, aren't there, Jack? Like, far out. <laughs> it's kind of, it gets a bit messy trying to remember which one's which. Even then, handy notes is better. Yeah, it is. Mm. Strawberry tea with green, with, with grape jelly. Mm. Delicious. But yeah, um... So the treasure map just makes the treasures appear on your map, right? Handy Notes is an add-on that does the same thing and doesn't take up a slot in your bags. And is also free. So I would definitely recommend checking that out, personally. Handy Notes is one of those weird ones where you have the core and then you have like all these different ones for all the different expansions and even patches. Handy Notes is broken down very, very small. Like, there's one handy notes add-on just for Timeless Isle in Mists of Pandaria kind of thing. So if you're working your way through Legion at the moment, you could go and grab Handy Notes Legion. So baby, don't you dare tell me to get something I will absolutely love using again. What, like, bubble team? I am, I am so, what, like, do I have your consent to record your first taste of bubble team? I will obviously ask again before doing it because you might change your mind. But like, and of course, if you ever asked me to take it down, I would oblige, but like, God, pretty good, okay. <laughs> just, I'm, uh, I'm just so keen. I can't wait to like, yeah. Next year you're gonna be there all three days, aren't you? Next year, when you got more time to plan, I, I bet you, I bet you, you're gonna be there all three days. Use this mods for content, the audacity. I mean, yeah, aren't I supposed to? <laughs> hey, you guys don't have to do as much as Jasters. That's like, you know. Seeker built me a whole last list of like holidays and, and like international days and like silly little, you know, like chocolate milkshake day and stuff like that. A whole big long and like list of them so that I can like find content ideas and stuff like that. My God, beautiful, amazing. <clears throat> She's literally did all the emotes. Yeah, yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Like, you guys, you guys don't, un like, so Sika, Sika has built me this beautiful sheet with all these different holidays and stuff so I can, like, scour it for, for content ideas. Jass is Jass, like, good lord, the amount of help that he provides. Sheebs does emotes. Kiwi is available at weird hours of the day because of where he lives and so is able to help me with, like, testing little bits and pieces when I need it. And Rump has been just such a moral support and terribly unfunctional compass. <laughs> like this, this whole journey, he has provided like so, like so much goddamn like advice. Like if I'm if I'm kind of questioning something or whatever, and I I go to Rump and I'm like, hey, so there's this thing. He just front up gives me the advice. There's no there's no beating around the bush. There's no not, like he's just like, look, this is what I do. And I'd be like, oh, there's this thing and they've offered me this much. And he's like, that's, you're worth more than that. You should charge them this. Like, he's just, you know, front up, this is what you need. Because he's got other friends who have done this far before I did and all this kind of thing. So he has that kind of knowledge base from being involved with them. And so, it, oh. all of my mods are so freaking amazing. So amazing. Contribute art and sass. You all contribute sass, let's be real. Like, empowering her. 
First thing I hear is Jupiter Juno. What, what did I hello crumb? Yeah, there's um one of the days in September is um is chocolate milkshake day. And we were talking about finding a um finding a uh like a one of those like they call them freak shakes, but like the milkshakes that are piled high with all the ridiculous stuff. Um we were talking about finding a cafe that did those that I could like get one for content. Yes, yeah, content. Um, but I've kind of given up on that idea because they're all too far away and I don't have time, and so I'm going to build one myself. I'm going to go to the supermarket and get a bunch of bits and pieces and I'm going to make my own quote-unquote freak shake. It's going to be ridiculous. <clears throat> um, hey, Jonah. Speaking of which, your advice was bang on with the Insta brand. Definitely a dropshipping company. Thanks for telling me to do my homework. Also, hi. Hi. Yeah, look. I didn't want to front up tell because here's the thing, right? I know that when when you start getting those kind of DMs, you're like, oh my god, companies are noticing me. And it's it's such a like it is a confidence boost. And it's a it's a it's telling you you're in you're going in the right direction. You're doing well, you're growing, and this is good, you're getting recognition. But it's not it's not right do you know what i mean like i i don't i hate squashing like i hate squashing that that kind of happy feeling in people because it's not okay you know like let people have happy but also don't let people get scammed <laughs> like it's it is a really careful so i didn't want to just straight up tell you i'm sorry but they're it's wrong it's bad it's not good i like so i think giving you the advice to to let you kind of figure out for yourself whether or not it was a good one um, I think was the be Why? was the right call there, but I'm I'm so glad that you did the research and that you you discovered information that helped you cover your butt, because it's not yeah you don't want you don't want that. It it is fun and exciting when you get your first affiliate program, um, but you know what? Make it a good one. Get into an affiliate program that is a product you love. And that you want, that you already tell everyone about, and and all that kind of like that's that's where you want to go. That's that should be your first one, and you will get there. You will get there. Not me. I've never sassed someone in my life. That right there is sass, sicka. <laughs> Found the loophole to get paid by being a mod just doing emotes. <laughs> oh no. You need pretzels, Nutella, crushed nuts, ice cream, cream, and milk. <sighs> Uh, we have a cafe here that does a crazy one with donuts and waffles and cream and jam. I'm not sure. I don't think I'm going to be able to do something that big. Although I do have bubble tea. I've got metal bubble tea straws, which can hold a fair bit of weight. So I can kind of pile them up like that. I know I need chocolate milk, obviously. That's that's the start. I need chocolate milk. Um, I need whipped cream because whipped cream can act as the base and almost glue to stick a few bits and pieces together. Um chocolate to melt can be handy as well like you melt it you coat the top of the jar and then you kind of roll it in nuts or whatever um i may be thinking a couple for shares because i love them and hey why not mm. be awesome the same share ah mine's really your part though mine is relatively new um it's the overture and um i actually got it as like a door prize at a Twitch thing. Um, <laughs> we had like a, we had a, um, uh, like a partner virtual meetup slash tour of Twitch kind of thing. Like it was a, a, yeah, it was really informational. I had a whole bunch of info, all that kind of stuff, like learning. Um, and they also had door prizes and I'd signed up to go and it was the day after surgery. Like I had, um, like dental surgery. Um, it was the day after surgery, and I was, I was zonked. Uh, I was very much on painkillers, and I was drifting in and out of consciousness. And um, I signed up because I'm like, hey, I might be fine, and I really don't want to miss this. It, they ended up making um, some stuff available with uh, like recordings and stuff like that, which was great. I sat down and watched them when I was in my mind, and uh, made notes and things. But. Uh, I, I woke up at some point and looked at my phone and I had an email telling me like, hey, congratulations on winning your AK Racing Overture chair. Um, please provide us with a postal. It was just like the, the preview on my phone, you know, provide a postal address. And I saw it and I kind of went, uh, 
and rolled over and went back to sleep. I thought I was hallucinating because I was on such strong painkillers. And then once I woke up and I wasn't on painkillers anymore and I saw the email, I was like, holy shit. <laughs> it was really quite entertaining. At least I thought it was funny. Um, but yeah, it's it's not sponsored. Um, I would I would love to partner with AK Racing one day because they make damn good chairs. Damn good chairs. But um, look, maybe one day. Maybe one day. Hello, Daz. Welcome back. The right kind. Yeah, exactly. Open a games cafe here in the UK. We should start doing bubble tea. You absolutely should. You abs absolutely should. Um, bubble tea club doesn't ship to the UK yet. Um, but when they do, you should definitely talk to them and get them to send you, like, commercial amounts of stuff. And tell them I sent you so I can get a commission. <laughs> Affiliate programs you love and believe in. Oh my god. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Like, you go from you go from being like embarrassed to talk about your affiliate programs because you feel like you're asking people for money, and then you start getting a little bit more confident, and then you crack jokes about it, and you're like, "Yeah, I'm a seller," and then but you still feel kind of bad, so you feel like you have to apologize after cracking the joke. That's the point that I'm in at the moment. One day I'll just be a proper sellout, and it'll be fine. But like for now, nah, all the embarrassment. <laughs> Uh, we have milkshakes brands called Yazoo and Fridge, Fridge, Banana, Strawberry, Fudge, Brownie, and Cookie. Oh, yum! Chocolate as well. Oh, that sounds so good. I, I am a sucker for interesting flavors. Like, you know, ice cream that's not just, like, chocolate or strawberry or what, like, with bits. is cookie dough chunks and a ribbon of caramel and marshmallow and blah, 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 like, all the bits and pieces. I am, I, I like complicated food. Stuff. If you could pick one dream sponsor, who'd it be? I, look, here's the thing, um, I've had sponsored streams with Blizzard, uh, and I'm, I'm on the launcher, so I'm, I'm working with them. It's not a sponsorship per se, but it is like a, a mutual arrangement that, that kind of benefits us both. And, um, I'm a Logitech affiliate. Uh, I, like, Logitech and Blizzard were the big names that I was always kind of like, yas. Um, so it's kind of... Yeah, it's kind of, it, it, like, those are the really big ones. And so it's sort of like, who, who's next? Who, where do I, where do I go next? Um, I think. I think the next logical step for me would probably be computer parts. Um. So, like, yeah, all, the, all the bits and pieces, you know, grabbing and getting on board with a, a GPU provider and, um, and, and that kind of stuff. Um, especially if I can get some parts kind of thing, like, that would, that would work really well. Um, it also means, like, once you're in bed with a, a PC parts company, it's not necessarily a financial sponsorship with, th with that kind of a deal. Like, sometimes it is, sometimes it's a combination. You get some cash and you get some, some product. But if you can get in bed with a PC part company, it means that every so often, like, you're not going to have to, like, at the moment, I upgrade my PC every four to five years. And that's a long, that's a long time. So if I was able to work with uh, a GPU provider, um there's a chance there that I might be able to get a new GPU every year and that would go a really long way to making sure that I can do whatever I want to do with my content and that I'm never held back by my hardware. Um, so I think that would probably be, I mean, obviously AK Racing would be fantastic um, because I already, like, this is the second AK Racing chair I've had. I've also um, encouraged a handful of people to specifically get not just racing not just ga like gaming chairs in general but specifically ak chairs um so i feel like that would be a logical partnership for me but then yeah um something gpu uh would be phenomenal um maybe a case yeah 
had, uh, what? Ah, oh, fuck, hang on. It might have... We might have actually lost the boost briefly. So, um... Because of the custom link, that's only available at level three, and we're at level three, and I thought we got through... I thought we got through just fine, but we must have dropped for half a second. My Discord's running at the speed of a thousand dead gazelles, um, but give me a minute, and I should be able to get in and fix that. Like, all I have to do is flip a switch. Um... second it just i don't know what's wrong with discord lately but it's just anytime there's a pop-up it's like eh, 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 and then you close it and it's like eh, 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 eh. it sucks it's why oh done that should work now Mm. I had to turn streamer mode off to be able to do it, and now it's booking and it's taking forever to go back, and then there we go. Perfect. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with Discord lately, it's just not working very well. Um, I'm not sure if you're for me, look, the peripheral is gonna buy a super light soon, I think. He's parts of pricey and Oz. Yeah, look, um, it not just because they're pricey, but because it's a logical connection, like, I play video games with a computer. Um, so it makes sense to try to keep that computer as up to date as possible. Um, and, and if I'm going to earn an income from a company, part of that income may come in parts. Cause it's a hell of a lot cheaper for a company to say, here's a hundred dollars worth of product versus a hundred dollars in cash. The, the hundred dollars in product is a lot cheaper for them. Um, so going with companies where they don't can they can do more than just cash um makes sense yeah logitech is awesome their peripherals are fantastic um yeah oh, they're they're brilliant to work with In the market for a new chair, cat problem. Rather than dog this time, cats keep fighting over the available chairs. What makes AK Racing chairs so good? For me, they're durable as hell. Um, like, they're, they're just, like, they, they, they just work. There's a 10 year warranty, I think it is, on the, on the, um, like the wheelie bit at the bottom. Uh, I don't know, the wheels, but that whole mechanism, there's like a 10 year warranty. Um, I think the warranty on the chair itself is a good handful of years as well. I can't remember exactly what it is, but um, decent there. Um, they have both the lumbar cushion and the neck cushion, but they're both adjustable and completely removable. Um, they do have armrests. I don't like armrests on my chairs. They are, like, you can just not put them on and it's fine. But if you do put them on, they're adjustable. Uh, and I've just found them really, really comfortable. Honestly, I was a little afraid of the PU, like the, the leather, um, because my, my old one, like the old chair, green chair was fabric because I live in Brisbane. And, and fabric, like, you, you just, I, I felt like if it's a, if it's not a fabric chair, then I just stick to it and it'd be great. But it's actually been quite nice. Um, so I'm, I'm not, like, I'm definitely not upset at that. They're a good, like, I'm, I am a shorter person, but they, they go down low enough to the ground that I can actually have my feet flat on the ground. So they're great, like, they have the right posture, even for me as a very short person. Um... And then they go up quite high as well. Like I've got a, um, a, a footrest thingy under here because I can't, because of the height of the desk, I can't go that low. Uh, so I have the footrest thing instead. Um, but yeah, they just, uh, AK Racing started in Singapore and they started not making gaming chairs. They started making bucket chairs for actual race cars. And I believe they still do. So they have like, it's not, they're not just doing gaming chairs that look fancy and that have the shape. It's an actual racing chair that has been adapted for gaming use. 
so it has that like that comfort and that like holding you properly kind of yeah that's yeah that's what appeals to me personally uh ducks fade heg silver molly miantos meaty durin and zam congratulations to all of you on your bonus ship well done well done Mine's had to be upholstery. Upholstery with Gorilla Taper! <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna call it Not Worry At All, Mel. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Hope you had fun. Uh, we'll see you next time. See you next time. Well done on the double skin, Sam. So a couple to turn in. So that I'll check them out tomorrow, lol. This is bedtime, of course, meaty. Rest well. We will see you next time. Thank you also for hanging out. Glad I could help, even if just a little bit. So a tomb named Ariana Pende. <laughs> That's adorable. Is it strange? The first thing I thought of was like Ariana, as in like the, the streamer. Just say berserker, didn't it? Yes. Is it a panda with a coffee cart? Why would I have a coffee cart? Or is it the same one you just saw? Is that more to the point? Ariana Grande, yeah. All right, coffee cut, because Grande. Okay, yeah, got it. Yeah. I just, I don't have Starbucks, and that's the only place here that really does that, the, those sizes. Um, there's a spider called Tenshi. A bit obscure. E yes. The closest thing I can think of is, like, Itsy Bitsy Spider, but that's not quite, I don't think that's quite it. <laughs> well done, Ice! Congratulations! Oh, okay, cool. There you go. I love that the strawberry syrup from Bubble Tea Club has actual, like, pulp in it and stuff. Oh, it's so tasty. No, oh, wait, that's the wrong oopsie. That's fine. my favorite bubble tea they're still doing it oh no mm. there's no like bubble tea club doesn't have a watermelon flavor but there are a few places i've been that have had like watermelon milk tea oh my lord so so good so good i mean it just tastes like candy but that's i mean bubble tea kind of does anyway so it's fine yeah, watermelon milk tea with rainbow jelly it was like the def there was one um there was a sushi place I used to order from quite frequently because it was close to my old workplace. Um, and uh, they had bubble tea on the thing, and if you chose like in on Uber Eats or whatever, if you selected original, it wasn't like an original milk tea. It wasn't like a, a just a milk tea. Original was watermelon flavor. 
um, and just jelly, like straight jelly, they, they was the rainbow jelly. And so I ordered that not quite knowing exactly what I was getting. And it ended up being the watermelon milk tea with rainbow jelly. And it's just such a comfort flavor now. Like, yeah. So you're chewing something that has an unexpected crunchy bit aggressively ruined. Running my tongue on my teeth, making sure it wasn't tooth related. Yep. I know that feeling. Cheese and crackers is super about the cracker pot. Ah! <laughs> Amazing. I love that so much. That's hilarious. Ah, Damon! Thank you so much for purchasing a Fiyama Berserker head skin. I hope you enjoy it. I hope it brings you luck on the battlefield. Thank you so much. So generous. Thank you. <sighs> Alrighty, that's that set of quests done. Out we get. Just arrived. I was wondering if I never did it, maybe just once or something. Well, this is, like, these are all side quests. Um, because I'm doing Threads of Fate, so none of this is storyline. So you may well have skipped all of this. Um. Yeah. It's, uh, not necessary at all to do any of this stuff. None of it's campaign related. But when you're in Threads, it gives you XP. So we do it. <laughs> Usually I do everything that's available the first time, Questa. Yeah. Yep. I feel that. Shadowlands was a bit different because I think we got like halfway through Ardenwield and realized that if we keep doing everything, we're going to be done before we even, like we're going to be at 60 even before we step foot in Revendreth that first time around. Um, so we stopped and then I went back and did the side quests, the remaining side quests later. But um, yeah. Went and got all those achieves, of course. I just had the rare scanner alert from the stream room and after one of my NPCs said like an echo. Oh no! It's kind of cool though, hey. Hopefully it sounded a little cool. Looking for a fight. You look oddly hail hey. Yeah, very close to ding. I told you it was close. 56. 66.08. Well, that gives us another day. Oh, we're done with August. 
We're up to 31st of August. Uh, thank you, Days. Hello again to you too. Hope you're doing well today. Hey, Avad. Welcome back. So with August, he reached September. Thank you very much. Oh, okay. This is still August. Yeah, but I'm I'm up to date with the 31st of August. Like, fine. Okay, whatever. with August. August isn't done with fear. Yeah, look, you are not wrong. You are not wrong. August didn't hear no bell. Why are you all gang up on me like this? I feel so like... I don't know. Good morning, all from yesterday. Excited to be PC today. Yay! Spreadsheets have heard so much about yas. Spreadsheets all day, every day. Enjoy. If you have any questions about them at all, please just ask. I'm I'm happy to look. Let's be honest. I'm happy to talk spreadsheets. So like, go for it. Yeah, Sam. Yes. You have caught up to 31st of August. Any XP from now on is September 1st. Exactly. See? Look. Look. And I'm 0.02% of the way off September. One more ding and I'll be in September. <clears throat> I'm going to be so salty if this tune doesn't hit 57. August is done, you met the thing, well done, you thank you, Seeker. See, somebody cares. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm getting, honestly, I'm a little bit uncomfortable here because um, I'm not going to get another on-stream chance to level until Sunday, which is, what, the 4th? Yeah. The 4th of September. So I'm, I'm going to be behind. Um, and that's uncomfortable. So we'll, uh, see how we go. <clears throat> Stabilitating smash is probably gonna... Poor boy, that was, I don't, look, it's fine. It's fine, obviously you shouldn't use one of those four boost suits. No, absolutely not. Uh, nope. No. It's fine, look, it's okay if I get a little bit behind because there is a chance, there's a chance that I'm going to be leveling for 36 hours in the form of a long weekend in September. <laughs> so I should be able to get at least a little bit caught up in that amount of time. This is a looking sheet right there. I know, right? Ah, uh, no. I'm honestly, like, I, I, we all get a little bit shy and embarrassed about, like, you know, tooting our own horns and stuff like that, but I'm gonna do it. I, there is those spreadsheets, AT Dart and the 5060s, are two of the most awesome spreadsheets I've made. And they're so useful to the point that people, like the reason that they're on my work account, like they're on the Fiamma email account, so that you, I can share them with you guys so that you can all like grab them and make a copy for yourselves and use them for your own purposes because they're just so useful. Like they're so handy. So yeah, I'm, I'm quite proud of those. They message you another Wins of Wisdom during pre-patch for 10.0. They might, but we don't know. Um, I'm not gonna 
expect that and then have it not happen and then have me you know what I mean like it's not it's not worth betting on in any way um but that's all right if they do hey it'll be even easier for me to make my goal however I'm not going to rely on it ah the sweet aroma of decay oh that's lemony but that's good that's going to be awesome in like a whole bottle of water It'd be like just enough flavor, I reckon. So the strategy here doesn't look like 50 to 60 per turn. No, it's uh, level uh, zone by zone. Um, so going through and doing Bastion on every turn. And then going through and doing Maldraxxus on every turn. Um, there are a few characters who have done other stuff outside of Shadowlands zones, which is why some of them are like further ahead in level, but still not started Maldraxxus yet. Uh, the green ones are the Maldraxxian, and then, like, the ones that need to be doing Maldraxxus, and then the blue ones are the ones that are in art, well, about to start Ardenwild. Um, it's, like, I, when I was leveling them all to 50, when I was doing 50-50s, I leapfrogged them. So what I did was, um, if I, uh, like, I, I jumped on a turn and I leveled it until it ran out of rested. And then I jumped onto my lo then lowest level character and leveled that until it ran out of rested and then rinse and repeat. Like, and then kind of, so leapfrogged them over each other, always logging onto the lowest turn until it ran out of, uh, ran out of rested. Uh, and now, because rested will almost get you all the way to 60, um... I, I'm changing it up a little bit because I didn't want to play one character for all that time. So one zone gets you, on average, about two dings. Uh, so that seems to be a, a neat kind of spot to... And I'm doing them all through threads as well. Uh, so yeah, I jump on, I, I blitz them through the zone, and then I log off and go on to the next lowest tune. Um, oof. Which part of it was oof? So this is, I think I've got eight left. It's five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so this will be my eighth last tune going through Maldraxxus. I was going for the efficiency of doing the zone. I think I'd hurt someone if I ended up going over and over the same quests. I, um, it kind of becomes a little mindless. It's, um, because I, you get the path, and because I'm always following Zygor anyway, just following that arrow of destiny, you start picking up, okay, this is about the halfway point. All right, this is um, this is the last section. Because you know how, like, quests tend to be grouped into areas? So you know, like, once you enter the final area, you're like, oh, I remember now, this is the last bit. I'm on the, I'm on the final stretch. You get that kind of familiarity with the zone. Uh, and it's actually quite comforting in a way. Because I know where I'm going next. I know what to expect. Um, yeah, it's not terrible. But of course, I'm I'm obviously going to be different to other people, and some people, yeah, that would drive them batty. Um, most like most people I've spoken to prefer to just jump on a tune, get it to sixty, and then go to the next one, and then get it to sixty. Um, but I I feel like, in, in fact, it's not a feel like it's a it's a math. <laughs> it's a math that if I if I do fifty to fifty one, that's less percentage than doing fifty nine to sixty. So if I get all of them leveled, like all of them to 51, all of them to 52, to 53, to 54, etc. I'm speaking with my hands so much that I just got my 7,000 steps of the day. Um, <laughs> if I if I do it that way, the percentage gain will be slower at the start and faster at the end. So it'll be this kind of like, I'm getting there, I'm getting there, I'm getting there, and then towards the end it'll just kind of go zoom all the way to 100%. Um, so it makes it it's not necessarily faster, but it feels just a tiny bit faster towards the end, and I do like that. 
I do like that. I remember when I was getting the last of them to 50, getting them that gap to like 45 to 50. Oh my God. The percentages just jumped and jumped. And jumped. I was like getting a full day's worth of percentage with every ding kind of thing. Uh, it was it was a big deal. Like now it's taking me about two dings around about to get one day's worth of progress. Um, but at the end, towards the end, it's going to be like one ding on average. Like every ding is going to get me another day worth of progress because of the percentage it's worth. Um, so yeah, it's uh, I do I do my runs like I my my challenges are very specifically catered to me and what makes my brain happy. Uh, but of course, if you want to level. You should definitely do it whatever way works best for you. This is doing 83 closest friends. Maybe it's not so bad. Yeah, look. I, it definitely keeps me company. Um, when I do, like, if I get a chance to level off stream, it doesn't happen often, but occasionally I get like an hour here or there that I can put some time in. Um, and when I do, I usually stick like Netflix or, or lurk a stream on the other screen or something, just having some kind of background noise while I do it. A little by spam the same dungeons over and over. I mean, yeah, a lot of people do. They do dungeon spam to level. Um, and that's not necessarily too much difference. Although, if you are with different groups and they decide to take a different route, etc. Uh, but, yeah, no, it is it is quite similar. And it's dead minds, isn't it? Because your percentage is XP-based rather than level-based. It is, yep. Yep. Because I felt like, you know, getting, getting 10,000 XP is going to be harder than getting 1,000 XP. Uh, it's not, <laughs> because of the way that scaling works with the quests, and the harder the quest, the more, um, are you kidding? Fucking evade bugged it. Oh god. But yeah, um, it, it's, it's not harder, but it makes it feel more rewarding later on. Scaling in this economy? I know, right? You'd think that this kind of stuff would break once you got a certain distance from it. Expanding that. That's totally fine. Not a worry. I I like when I can. Sometimes it's hard to put my my thoughts into words to to express them to another person. But when I figure out how to do that, I I do like I do enjoy like talking through my thought process with people. Especially when they validate it and make me feel like I'm not batshit. Because <laughs> a lot of people just look at it and go, oh my god, nah, I couldn't, you're, you're weird. How could you do this to yourself? And I'm just like, it's fun. Post scan in this economy, I, oh. The post scans are fine, it's the posting. It's the actual posting after the scan that's a pain in the ass at the moment. It just takes so long. So. So what are we, what are we sitting at? 2845. Perfect, my spreadsheet is where it should be. 2845 levels attained. If a spam of freehold AD is just so mindless for me, I can just watch a movie at the same time. Yes. The other way, click pause, click pause, all good. Post can, I can't do anything else. Yeah. Post can, I just, I kind of set it up and I go and do other stuff while it's scanning tidy up the room or something. Halfway through the other day, I wanted to check my add-ons. Couldn't. Yeah, that's... The rest of the lowest level between Thimble Dungeons like what I'm playing, getting selected for me. Yeah. Not having to think. Any Anything to eliminate, like, having to think about making, like, making a choice is, is good. Because decision fatigue, it's a thing. When you've got this many bloody tunes to pick from, ugh. Hey, Luz, welcome back. Hope you're doing well. How are you? Doing very well, thank you. Um, tired as per usual, but uh, overall, yeah, doing really well. Doing really, really well. <clears throat>
Am I getting excited for PAX? Oh yeah. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. It's really, it's really starting to happen. I've got a whole lot of stuff I need to do before PAX and I'm just like, oh my god, I'm running out of time. <laughs> uh, so hopefully we'll get there, but we'll see, we'll see. Same, yeah, it's uh, it's definitely a bit that way, hey. So about packs on this helix, are you going to lose it? Yay! Are you looking forward to it, dude? Oh yes, yes. Oh, there are gonna be so many people to like meet and talk to and shit. Oh my god. This convention in years, yes. yes. so much to do oh lord i just like i know that there are going to be people i want to catch up with that i don't end up seeing like i just i know it and i kind of feel like oh i i i i don't even know how it's gonna work i just i think i'm kind of like you know what i give up i'm not like i'm gonna coordinate the family lunch on saturday and then anything that i have to do in terms of like like obligations, like I have, there's a, there are a couple of um, companies and stuff that are, I'm talking to Stay about bits and listen. pieces. <laughs> um, so like there might be some, like I need to be at this booth at this time kind of deal. So like I'll coordinate that for myself and then the lunch on the Saturday and beyond that, it's just going to be, hey, I'm just going to like live tweet where I am. And if people want to come say hi, they can. I just like, it's going to be a mess otherwise. I just, people are going to feel like I don't care about them or something, and I'm just like, look, I'm just busy. <laughs> this is just too much. This is just too much. <sighs> so I've just shifted all the stream to set up. A little bit and got mount. I'm tired. Night for you. Good night, Yori. Rest well. Oh, you're so welcome. Rest well. I can't put my for work. Doesn't count. Yep, for sure. Air yeah, panel. So just to meet you for 10 minutes get a pick with you of course of course well we are we're gonna do lunch um out on the lawn uh on the saturday i don't know what time just yet i want to see the schedule before i make that kind of decision um but there's gonna be something roughly around lunch time where it's not like there's we're not gonna have food or anything it's just not like food provider or any of that kind of crap it's just gonna be look grab some whatever you want come to the lawn and we can all just kind of chill for a bit um and, uh, and then kind of, you know, people can come and go as they please for however long we happen to be there. Um, I think that's just going to be the easiest way for people to kind of... Yeah. Oh, it's just going to be a nightmare otherwise. <laughs> I just... Uh... Uh, I ran out of Renata to use milk for the not cheese. Getting more Renata tomorrow to make the cheese. It was all good to go. Oh no! Oh no! Fair enough, yeah. Bubble tea time, yes! There's a bubble tea place just down, it's 24 7, and it's just down the road from the convention center. Um, so, yeah, I will absolutely be going. Um, yeah, it'll be great. A couple of people have threatened to bring me bubble tea, and I'm like, that's fine as long as it's sealed. Like. <laughs> That's like, and I feel like that's just a, and that's for, that's for everyone. I feel like anyone, if they're bringing edible gifts for each other, like as long as stuff is sealed, uh, especially if it's like commercially bought, I think that's going to be the best bet just for everyone's safety. Cause you know, it's a convention and we want like, we're an awesome community and all that kind of stuff, but you gotta, you just gotta remember that we're still, still randoms on the internet <laughs> and there's there's always a chance someone can pop in and say yeah i'm such and such and we won't know any different and then you know it's just yeah 
Better to be safe than to be sorry. It's not a sign of distrust. It's a sign of, like, keeping your own butt safe. Can't seal the cheese. No, I know. You're going to have to trust me on that one. I'll miss out on cheese. Yeah, but we also know what you look like, Seeker. You've posted selfies. So that's kind of, you know, that's, like, there's an there's a, a an added level of trust there. On the on top of that, like, you, you have, I mean, not that, not that a moderator role is something to lose, per se, but you've got, like, not only, like, if you tried to poison me, you wouldn't just be banned, you'd also lose that kind of, do you know what I mean? Like, it's, yeah, there's, I feel like it's a different sort of, but yeah, and, but at the same time, I would trust that you wouldn't be offended if somebody declined based on the fact that it wasn't commercially sealed, you know? I feel like you'd get that and that you'd be okay with that and you'd respect it and all that. My address, so... Do I? <laughs> I'm, um... If it's been for, like, a giveaway or something like that, I don't keep those. Like, just to be very clear. The obs didn't remember. No, no, no. I, I purposefully don't. Like, if if I'm getting somebody's address or something, seriously, man. Um, yeah. Ah. Oh. Yeah, but I think you, and then you deleted it, didn't you? noticed and went, oh shit, and then deleted it. I don't think I saw it until after you deleted it. Uh, Sale, Paul, Emma, Silver Molly, Ducks, Aaron, No, Mara, and Loza. Congratulations to all of you on your friendship. Well done. Well done. I, I do remember you doing that, but I think you'd gotten rid of it before I saw the messages. So I don't think, yeah, but any, even then, Oh, good lord, no. I'm not going to be like, ooh, ooh, quick, write that down before she... No, fuck no. I'm, um, no. <laughs> like, even when I get... Like, I got Sheba's address for mailing of giveaway stuff, of merch. I don't have it anymore. I have no reason to hold on to that. And me holding on to it could potentially be a security risk for Sheba. You know, because like if if somebody tried to target me or tried to get their hands on some of my data and because I'm putting myself out here like this, I, I do make myself somewhat more of a target. It shouldn't be the case, but it, it, it is. If I happened to get hacked or something, having other people's personal information handy is dangerous as hell. So no, I don't I don't keep any of that stuff. And I, I highly recommend like I know you can't delete DMs on, on Twitch and stuff like that, but um, on Discord, if somebody sends me their address for a giveaway, I make note of that and then tell them, yep, I've got that, thank you, so they can delete it. And then once I'm done with it, I delete it as well. Like, I don't, I don't need that anymore. Um, so, yeah, but look, I, I know it's not super high tech security or anything like that. But I, I, I do my best to try to keep that kind of information. Um, like I only have it while it's absolutely necessary. If that makes sense. Mm -hmm. be added to Sheep's Amazon again. <laughs> oh my God, that was hilarious. You can't be so free when you have my address. Um, the company postcard for Christmas. Fear doesn't want to send me random gifts. Ah, uh, look, the shipping to you is so ridiculously expensive. <laughs> like it would, honest to God, cost me more than the gift to actually pay for shipping. That's fine. Uh, showing around deleting any sensitive information on Discord. Oh hell yeah, absolutely. I, I always do. Um, like Rump and I have exchanged some sensitive information before and we we only exchange it, we only send it when we know the person is active, waiting, ready to receive it. And then we acknowledge we've got it and it gets deleted. Like it's not, it's just not worth it. Um, Discord doesn't delete messages if I have a chance with 
things, you lose your account, just completely nothing about that. Ye. That's why you order it from asterisk, asterisk, asterisk. Indeed. I'm assuming you mean like Amazon or something and have it sent directly. Ye. Yeah, I've, I have definitely done that before, but it's less fun sending something straight. Like, you, you know, you can't like put little silly things in there. It's, like, it's not, it's not as nice as getting like a, a hand packed package from a person. But yeah, of course. Yeah. Oh my god, asterisk, asterisk, asterisk is my favorite store! I know, right? Try, god, try saying that fast. It sucks. <laughs> I don't like it. Like it. Someone's come through here and cleared out all of these, and I'm very sad. I just want my animates. Why? I'm on a rogue too, so everything sucks. <laughs> you lot! Oh my lord. This is my favorite one this show. <laughs> oh no. You got the bone wings from the ray, you can activate using that quest item. What? I I have no idea. Necrolord only. Well, I'm not on a Necrolord, so not on this turn. I don't know. Po possibly un uncertain. Looking for a fight? I don't remember getting the mice, but then my memory is unreliable at the best of time, so there is every chance that I do actually have them. I just don't know. That's okay. <clears throat> oh man. Until it's getting late, my sinuses are cracking up again. If they're close like that, you can't, you can only talk to one of them, and it triggers both of them, and it only counts as one. It makes me so upset. Hello, Starhawk. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well today. <laughs> Dear.
squishy rig is squishy. Leveling? <laughs> look, yeah, it's... look. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Well, one... One rogue up. And I've got one at 57 and two at 56, so I'll... I'm sure I'll be okay. I'm dying on this one less than I was dying on the other ones. Which is... I don't know why. I seem to be, which is good. Welcome on in, Bam. I hope you're doing well. You wanna go get ashes? You should do! Go get ashes. Do the thing. You are doing it in two separate runs, right? Not like in the same raid. I know it's a silly question, I'm just asking. Just making sure. Ah, uh. oh, good. They weren't close enough. All right, perfect. Off we go. What now? Better to go with friends. No, no, no. If you're both in the same raid group, it still only has a one percent chance of dropping, and it can't drop two. The air was one. You should absolutely both be in separate raids. The constructs continue to bolster their no. forces at the time. <laughs> it is incredibly rare that a mount is better done in a group. Jesus Christ. No. No. Always run raids alone. Always run raids alone. Unless you're doing transmog and you've got like a clothy, a mail wearer, a leather wearer, and a plate wearer. But like, uh-uh. Uh-uh, uh-uh. <laughs> if you have one drop, you, you can't both get it. And you'll have to like roll off on it or, or whatever. Or you oh, I can't even do like need greed looting or whatever, can you? Oh no wait, can't no you can't. It's just it's pers everything's personal loot, right? You know, pretty much a random made red leveling even harder than the other specs. Oh look, it, it seems to be fine for me. But like it's just not eh. It's fine. But yeah, the, the way that the old raids do mounts, it's it has a 1% chance to drop. So it calculates, did it drop? Yes. Who who gets it? It does a roll and whoever rolls highest gets it kind of thing. It doesn't, it cannot drop two. The only, like, the only exception to that is Jaina's mount that always drops two if, like, well, I mean, I guess it doesn't anymore. But back when it was doing it, it was guaranteed drop and then it guaranteed to drop two. But yeah, no, it's, um... My boyfriend at the time and I did the raid drops. Yeah, class seven together, first time doing it together. Mount dropped, I won the roll. Yup. Yup. Yeah, do not ever do old content with a group. Unless you are specifically trying to like split the, the transmog amongst yourselves. Or it's it's old, but it's not old enough that you can solo it. If you cannot do it alone, then obviously that's an exception too, but no. Don't. <laughs> No reason to run any legacy content with more than one person who can loot the same thing unless you can't solo that content. Exactly. Yep. If you didn't know that, you're welcome. By all means, like, jump into a Discord or something, or, or like, whisper back and forth, and or, like, even if you jump in a Discord call and you don't talk, you can share your screens with each other and all that kind of fun stuff. That's fine. Like, do it together, but separate. Like leveling, together but separate. Guess I was doing it wrong. You didn't know, and now you do. You have learned a thing. Congratulations. <laughs> Me too. It's all good. I just like that's why I was like, um, uh, um. So it's stuff like when Desir was talking about going and getting the the thing from uh, King's Rest, the the mount from the last boss in King's Rest. That's not particularly solvable yet. So. If you can't do that alone, but you can do it with just two of you, you should run it as a pair. If there's four of you and all of you can do it in duos, then you should split off and do two duos because then you have a chance for two mounts to drop, one in each group. 
you can't all get it. It's just like it, literally any other piece of loot. Like raid raid gear, obviously occasionally you get a thing where you got like four pieces of loot drop and it's all the same goddamn trinket. But in terms of mounts, it doesn't it doesn't work like that. Uh hello Sen, welcome back. I should probably do everything with others. That's and that's totally fine. You can still do it with people together but separate. It's like it's like when we're doing the loot appraiser challenges. We're all we're all running we're all running the exact same dungeon together, but in but by ourselves, like solo. Same thing. In fact, if you start up a loot appraiser challenge, it might even flag when a person gets the mount. Does it come up because it or maybe it only comes up if it's got like a one copper value? No. I need to bring my introverts with me, stream chat, I'm back from a lovely action, just gonna lurk for a bit while shining people, not a problem, Loz, enjoy. I'm so glad I can help and like teach stuff. Mount farming efficiency. Never learned anything about WoW from you? Well. Hilarious. <laughs> I certainly have. <laughs> never influenced. No, never. I'm a terrible influencer. What are you talking about? Look. May I tempt you with my wear? It is better to have learned now than later. Right? Sure. Maybe it would have been nice to know however long ago. But that's that's done, it's not a thing, so No point no point spending energy on what ifs. But it was like the the woman who I you know, who zoned out after killing Allah in TK. It's like uh <laughs> Um That's not the boss you need. But, like, it's better to have learned it then than even a moment later, you know? Mm. Asha Soulbound, like, shouldn't count that then. No, it counts boss drops that are Soulbound. It just, it only counts them as their vendor price, not as the BOE. Not, not as the, like, because uh, you can't auction them. But, uh, yeah, if, um, the way that I have my Loot Appraiser Challenges set up, um... If, if it's bop, if there's no uh, buyout, if there's no auction price, it goes by vendor price. At least that's the way mine's set up. I don't know if that's default or not, but yeah, I've, I've noticed yeah. boss drops. Thank you. I've noticed boss drops come up in mine and it's just their vendor price. Because it's technically gold made. You just have to vendor it and you get the gold. I've not purchased any of the following. Where Lara, Miller, probably other things too. You are going to look, Seeker. The first thing you do when you, in fact, on on the plane home, you are going to be making a bubble tea club order. I promise you. At least we're killing the right boss for it. Exactly. Exactly. For you. It could always be worse. Be sure, Astro was my first raid. I properly ran for. Have you got the Shadowlands Lawmaster title? Yes. You want to do that before DF is released? Yes. Lawmaster is always one of the first things I do. Uh, I love, I love Lawmaster. Um, I uh, got my like Lawmaster back before they split it into zones. Back when it was literally like complete 750 quests in Kalimdor and 800 quests in Eastern Kingdoms or whatever the numbers were. I, I don't quite remember. But I um. Yeah, I, I did those back before uh, they split them out, and it was a it was a time. Let me tell you, it was a time. It was also before we could query the server on whether or not we had completed a quest via ID number. So that was a. It took me months, and I loved every minute of it. It's, it's those kind of enormous projects that it's like the leveling and stuff. You're like, okay, this is amazing. This is awesome. And then you kind of, you get, it's done and you're like, yes, now what? 
<laughs> Luckily, I now have ATT, so I have plenty of now what's. Uh, but yeah. I remember what I was thinking of Duke and V. Yep. I found a faster way to get there. Your duck portal instead of shot. Yes. Yeah, Zygor, if you put in, like, if you um, pop in, like, select it, the, the arrow, the magic arrow of destiny will tell you the fastest way that your current character can get there. Um, especially if you go into the directions thing and you tick off, like, use toys and use items and use blah, 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 blah. It'll, it'll tell you the fastest way to get there using all your little tricks that that particular character has access to. It's fantastic. Might will often tell me things like port to Orgrimmar, then take the portal to Mount Hyjal and fly from there sort of thing. Um, um, it, it also tells my druid to dream walk, then run through the portal to Mount Hyjal, then take the portal to Orgrimmar to get to the everywhere else if I, if all my heart like all my other hearthstones and stuff are on cooldown like it's it's super cute and funky i really like it you think i won't be ordering and drinking at the same time look i figured you'd be too overwhelmed and like engaged with all the paxing and and talking to people and stuff maybe maybe the moment you're back in your hotel room oh no wait are you staying with your s i think you're staying with a family member i, I want to say sister but i can't remember exactly um but that's fine anyway I feel like the moment that you're not engaging with others, the moment you feel like it's not rude to pull out your phone. Sister, cool. I thought so, but I was just like, Ugh. and then my brain was like, should we be saying this out loud either? And I'm like, ah, oh, shit. By that point I'd halfway committed and I was like, Ugh. Um. What mount are you currently? Oh, Shiva, pick away at farming Chikun every so often. Now I've just been leveling, yas. It's cool, you can uh, hokey game on. Sister, my friend will be out all day. So will mine, but like, I feel like, oh, honestly, and, 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 and I know that this is, look, I genuinely feel like Jazz is going to capture more content than I'm going to actually during packs. But then I'll be the one who pulls out the laptop and syncs everything and then like makes all the little clips and stuff to like I'll do all the editing and then the all the finessing and stuff but I feel like Jazz is gonna be the one taking most of the photos and videos and stuff like that um and like oh I, I just appreciate him so so much my lord <sighs> you'll be in his content I know right I know. This is this is a conversation I have with Jas at least twice a week. Are you okay being such a big part of my content? Like, are you okay, like doing so much for me behind the scenes and all this kind of stuff? And like, we 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 talk it out. And there are some times where I, you know, like, hey, could you do this? And he's like, look, I no, uh, and that's totally okay. Um, but he's just he's so goddamn helpful. <laughs> Just so unbelievably helpful. Well, yeah, he will. He'll be running around as Cameron Nerd slash Genius. Um, I don't actually know if he's going to take his DSLR this time, because I'm not sure. I mean, he got plenty of shots last time we went, but it's, um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Engineer port to Tosh Leo. <laughs> you and your Angies, Jack. You and your Angies. Brilliant. Actually, no. Bullshit. He's absolutely going to be taking his DLSL. He'll be taking it to Melbourne. I don't know if he'll take it to the convention. But I just remembered that he's coming to bloody, like, fucking mum's place. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. He will, he will absolutely be taking his camera because I think he'd, like, kick himself rather firmly in his own butt if he didn't because god where mum lives is gorgeous so beautiful uh hunter can get anywhere within like a minute because if ng ports a dungeon ports that's amazing jack holy cow oh my god zygor would go batshit on your like it'd have so many options it wouldn't even know what to do with itself oh that's cool oh excuse me i'm just gonna let my rogue heal a bit here because um Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now. 
room. Oh no, he has. Roof places. visited the old place and then um uh, uh july when i went down in july he came with me he was invited and so we got to see the new place it was really good the very old east german as well cameras my dad traded with east german soldiers wow holy cow sin <gasps> that's historical piece of what's it hey jesus no it's fine to see you're not expected to know all the minutiae of, of life. Like, <laughs> it's fine. Oh my god. I need to get far enough away that I can get this healing potion off and then like, yep. There we go, all right. Bam. Oh no, incorrect. Ah, they go. It's still like every so often I realize or I learn because I don't like I'm not a huge history buff. But every so often I realize or I learn that some major historical event happened during my lifetime. And it kind of blows my mind because sometimes some of the stuff that we talk about feels like it was eons ago like this was so so long like the soviet union existed while i was alive what that it feels like the the, the soviet union feels like it's this you know relic of time and i'm sh before any of you fucking say but like you know what i mean it just it feels like that should be so much longer ago than it actually is so like saying you know you were born in west berlin like i'm like right the wall was there while i like during my lifetime so people around my age could have been born in either like West or East Berlin. Like that's, instead of just like Berlin, you, you know, it, it just, it kind of trips me out a little sometimes. Um, Cause the, when, when you learn about this stuff, especially through like a history textbook or something like that, there's this disconnect. Like that is something that happened all this time ago, but putting it into that kind of context is, is kind of trippy. At least for me, maybe not for others, but it's trippy for me. I mm, need to ask Jas if he wants to run Mikey. He's in raid at the moment. Uh, I went back and worked to West Berlin when I was 19. I have to go back and see how it's changed since the wall came down. That would be awesome. Maybe you should. Maybe you should, like, make it a solid plan and, like, start figuring out, okay, what's what's... Is it gonna cost me stuff? Like, am I gonna need to take leave? Like, how how is all this gonna kind of work? Maybe you should like plan that. Visit your birthplace. I'm pretty sure the building I was born in doesn't exist anymore. I think it was like you know hospitals they they tear them down and rebuild them all the time especially with new um te as new technologies come along and all that kind of stuff i, d I don't think the building i was born in exists anymore but the, the hospital definitely does it is just but it's changed like a lot like a lot a lot i think the maternity ward or the area where the maternity ward was has changed into some other kind of ward as well but i'm not sure it's been a little while I think I was two years old when Dad's room was finished. We came back to the UK. There you go. Huh. 
Huh. All right. It just yeah, it's trippy, isn't it? This would love to take my wife with me as well. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Discover a piece of your own history. Rediscover. Last little bit of Maldraxxus. The eighth last tune. So exciting! Cats were intensely staring out the window. Lo and behold, I looked out and there was the fattest raccoon I've ever seen chilling in the yard. Beautiful. Amazing, Shiba. <laughs> Reckon you could get a photo? Or is it too dark out there? So you level your alts via the storyline or threads of fate? Threads of fate at the moment. I did do a few through the storyline. Um, and then um, my main reason for doing that was like wanting to grab all the transmog and all that kind of stuff and then when i was made aware that if you select threads of fate it marks all the storyline quests as completed on the back end but therefore it also gives you the transmog from those quests i was like threads it is um <laughs> so i switched over to threads i know i've asked before i can't recall which way is fastest from 50 to 60. um i don't it's not about speed it's about convenience. Um, so with with storyline, if you hit 60 without going back to Ouroboros and changing it to Threads of Fate, like if you forget to do that and you ding 60 and you haven't finished Revendreth, you have to finish Revendreth. No matter where you're up to, you've got to finish it to be able to get to the Covenants and stuff like that. Um, if you choose Threads of Fate, you get to pick your Covenant at 50. Which means that while you're leveling, you're earning Covenant Renown. Um, and if you've got a main that's at 80 Renown, it means you can buy an item next to the Flatmaster in Ouroboros that puts your Renown to 60. It takes it from wherever it is and puts it at 60. Like, okay, if it's up to, up to 60, it puts it to 60. Um, and then while you're leveling, you will get the 20 remaining. So by the time you hit 60, you have a tune that's max level, has a covenant with 80 renown, and is ready to get going kind of thing. So it, it's that kind of commit. It's not necessarily faster. It can be, depending on how you tackle it. But it's about those convenience things as well. Uh, Laza, Nez, Mara, and Gin, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. Done. I got spooked and ran off. Would have been too dark anyways. Fair. Totally fair. Not a problem. Okay, it's a super loyalty boss chest. I'm... Oh. I don't really want to run too far over time today because I've got work work tomorrow. So I'm probably going to start this by early. So make sure you get your, like, your best and brightest on the field as soon... Excuse me, as soon as you can. Uh, and hopefully we'll be able to knock this one over. But I, I'll probably have to start this battle early. Faster speedrun method, I believe, is still storyline, but you don't earn anything while doing it. There you go. There you go. Yas, yes, Laza! Yas! I didn't know that, Jack. Thank you for the info. Um, I, I did not know that was faster, genuinely. Um, but yeah, it's definitely more convenient to 
Okay. If you take a little bit longer to level, but you're pretty much ready to step into raids at the end of it, it helps. Hmm. The faster part is only using the speedrun strats. Ah, okay. Yeah. I'm also not a speedrunner. Um, like, I've never been a speedrunner. Uh, I get too distracted by different bits and pieces to... And I'm also, like, I die a lot. <laughs> so it's like, yeah. Um, I'm nothing but respect for speedrunners. I think it's amazing what they can achieve and, and finding all the little ways to make them go just that little bit faster to shave seconds off their time. I think it's really, really cool. It's just not for me. Um, I'm more about that completion rather than the, the time, personally. But to each their own, obviously. There is no wrong way to play. The only wrong way to play is to is telling people that the way that they're doing it is wrong. Or making fun of them or whatever. Harassment. Level 60 boost is only available once you hit 60. Didn't know I could get that at 50. Yes. Can you get that on my level 50 alts as soon as I get home? Yes. You gotta pick your covenant. So you go to Oribos, you, you can either do them all or skip them all, your call. You talk to Talonara. And uh, you select your covenant. And what I was doing was as I was on my way to the first zone, like as I was going upstairs to the transport hub to to get to take the flight path to the zone I'd chosen, I would grab it on my way through. Um, the, the item to learn all of your conduits can only be purchased at 60, but the renown boost can be purchased at 50. And then I think only then, because of war mode, ah, fair, yep, that would make sense. Live with war mode on, can appreciate as a streamer that can be an issue. Look, honestly, even without being a streamer, my first character was leveled on fucking Jubath uh, Jubathos. No. I, I, like, n not even, not even, like, teehee jokes about or anything like that. I just, leveling my very first character ever, my first experience in World of Warcraft was leveling through Stranglethorn Vale on Jubathos, a PvP server, it was seven levels of hell. I, like, I, I very nearly walked away from the game. I didn't, and I'm here 15 and a half years later, but I will never, ever, ever again level where I can be killed for just trying to do a quest. Never. <laughs> Not interested. Do with my wares? But that's, like, again, I'm definitely not going to judge those who do, for sure. Like, play your way, right? But, no. <laughs> Just, I'm not doing it. Never again. I'm glad that it is an option for those who wish to pursue it. I don't. You honor me. Here first in your PvP realm. There you go. Oh, super cool. I live to serve. Ah, as long as you're enjoying it, that's that is the big thing, right? As long as you're having fun, that is what. All is goods and services for sale. Final little bit in Maldraxxus. Final room. I think one mode allows people to opt in and out. I think it's a wonderful addition, far better than the old school PvE or PvP realms. Agreed. If you're in the mood for PvP one day, you don't have to realm transfer to get your kicks. Like, I think it's a fantastic addition. Fantastic addition. I 
and eventually I'll have to do it because there are a whole bunch of achievements and things <laughs> related to it. But I feel like we're just going to end up getting a pack of Hordies and a pack of Alliance together and all of us switch war mode on and then going, like, it's not, not win trading, but, like, help each other get our, do you know, that kind of thing? Just organize it in Discord. It's like, all right, everyone move to the, everyone's got their achievement onto the next zone. G7. Numlock is on. 66.3. <laughs> I am up to the 1st of September. Speak up, soldier. It takes we are now three days ahead. Not enough, but look, it'll do for now. Um, I'm a little bit nervous because the next time I get a chance to level on stream is not until the 4th of September, so that I'm, I'm at that point, if I don't get any more leveling done, I'll be three days behind. Uh, but, look. Let's see. Let's see how we go. Uh, remember to make the, place those units as soon as you can, because we're going to start that battle relatively soon. Food is so delicious. Got a lifetime of world PvP playing video and never want to play an enforced world PvP game again. <laughs> Fair. Fair. Would you come along to earn some achievements, Jack? Wait, what the fuck, Fair? Why is it almost 5 a.m.? It appears, dear Sheba, that you have been influenced yet again. My apologies, question mark? <laughs> I can't help that I'm entertaining. Look. <laughs> Actually, let's empty these bags. They're looking a bit tricky. Thwarted yet again. Yeah. They just, what can I say, Sheebs? You're just, you're afraid of missing something. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. I feel like there's, a, I, I feel like I know a bunch of people. Like, if I gave them enough notice, we'd probably get, like, a whole bunch of people rocking up and with like like meet in Mechagon and just duke it out and then meet in Najatar and do the same until everyone's got their achieve and then in Ardenweald and in Bastion and in Maldraxxus and in Revendreth and just you know like just move this this pack of people in war mode from zone to zone just like knocking each other out until we've all got our achievements for killing x number of players in in zone a and then move to zone b it's not wind trading. There's a there's a specific help article that pretty much defines wind trading. There's a um there's a thing in uh, Nagrand, uh, old Nagrand. Uh, I think it, yeah, it's dry, like well, Highmore. There's an ogre there that you can talk to, him and it's it's a it's a like a battle royale. Um, and there's an achievement for winning. Um, so and it it is stated specifically that you are allowed to organize a win trading thing there. Like if you get enough people together and you all queue and you decide, okay, such and such is winning this time or whatever, or like you 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 play properly and whoever wins queues up the next time and just stands there and allows themselves to be killed so that someone else can win and then someone else can win, da -da. like that kind of stuff is okay. It's just when it comes to like rated stuff that you're not allowed to. 
I'm just over the drama and trolling and childishness of PvP dedicated games, or at least the type, the type of people that, the like, people who are dramatic and trolls and childish. Yeah. Yeah. And the salt. I, I just... Uh, the CSIRO says I should not have that much salt in my diet, so I'm not gonna. <sighs> they keep telling me not to add salt to stuff, and I'm like, no. Like, get salt-reduced tinned tomatoes and salt-reduced, um, what was it? Salt-reduced corn kernels. And, and I'm like, N uh. so, um, I have, I have been getting a salt-reduced ketchup. But, um, yeah, so I have, I have been getting salt-reduced stuff, but I have absolutely been seasoning my food because it just, it's not bad. Like, the food is great. But sometimes it needs just a pinch of salt to liven it up. And I feel like, you know, like crack, crack is not going to give me heart disease. Um, <laughs> uh, even in comp stomp, the amount of bitching sometimes is such a turn up. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Why are you going to, like, how are you letting the, the noob NPCs get around you? And blah, blah, blah. It's like, dude, chill. <laughs> wait, wait, like, chill. It's fine. We're going to win anyway. It's fine. But yeah, I um I I feel y'all on that. It's uh Why are my tooltips not working properly? You struck a hard bargain. Good show. It's only on this tune the tooltips don't seem to be working. Even when I mouse over stuff they only pop up for half a second. It's really odd. I'm going to figure that if it's in my bags, it's probably not good enough to be equipped. Yeah. All right, let's, um, we're going to, we're going to do the battle early. I did say we were going to, so y'all, y'all are warned. Oh man. I am slippy. And I work today, work today, work in the office tomorrow. Look, it's okay. It's okay. We're gonna be fine. I'm actually going back in there next time for some more honor ranks. Not sure the 30 honor I've got for each of the PvP quests for the source is gonna cut it to get the rank I want. Yeah, look. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's a thing. It's all right. We're gonna we're gonna come back and we're gonna smash that. Uh, what's the date? On Friday. <laughs> On Friday, we're gonna come back and smash that that chest. Um. Let's go do some fun. Let's go, let's go do a raid. Um, I'm gonna switch back to here so we can put this up. Not that it's actually, this is completely useless because not, there's only one day left on it and it's wrong. <laughs> what, look, it's fine. So we have the 31st of August. What, how, whatever. 31st of August, uh, we are not leveling slash raiding. We are uh, playing Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy 14 online. It's going to be great. I have completed the A Realm Reborn main storyline, but we have patches to work through. Um, so that's going to be a, an absolute blast. Um, so I hope that you'll join me for that. It is also a sponsored stream, of course, which is fantastic and amazing and wonderful. I would very much appreciate your support. Even just dropping a lurk if it's not your kind of game would be just so goddamn appreciated. I hope you'll join me for that. Uh, Friday, we're gonna swing back to WoW. We're gonna play some classic Ashran. We're gonna queue for classic Ashran. Um, there is some backstory here. Two classic Ashrans ago, I got in after like half an hour or so 
And then we got booted within 15 minutes because there weren't enough players. And then we spent the rest of the stream in a single queue. Last, that was two times ago. Last time we did Classic Ashran, we spent literally six hours in queue. So that's, uh, that is what that was. Good. Yeah. So this time, this Friday, we're going to get in and we're going to play Classic Ashran. And it's going to be great. Hear that? game it's gonna it's gonna oh no sorry um i just realized the person we were gonna raid is um is now doing a raid ah <laughs> good good actually when... yeah let's go here instead perfection okay so yes and then what day is it so, so, and then Sunday, we're going to do some Dragonflight Alpha, depending on the build, and then probably some leveling. Uh, and then wrapping around to next Monday, the 5th of September, uh, will be another sponsored stream, which is just ridiculous and amazing. More Final Fantasy XIV. So, um, I'll see you for all of those. Let's, um, let's do a raid. Oh, we're going to go if I can spell it correctly. There we go. Oh my god. Thank you. Right, we're going to go say hi to Keggy. Grab your copy-paste if you don't have the Fiamma hype emote, either because you are not a subscriber or because you haven't unlocked it using your channel points, both of which are totally okay, by the way. You can still copy and paste the whole message. Delete Fiamma hype and replace it with your favorite happy hypey celebratory emote and then drop it into Keggy's chat when we get there. Keggy is playing Cult of the Lamb. I hope sincerely that you will all join his cult and like mess with him. Good, yes, wonderful. Um, I'm gonna grant that good. All right, brilliant. Take care of yourselves, be nice to each other. And I will see you on Wednesday. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate all of you so, so deeply. See you on Wednesday. All the love. Ah. Bye, guys. Want some of my... Mm -hmm.